And it's everybody, guys. Hello, hi, welcome to yet another one shot run by Kitoy Boy. Hello. Kitoy Boy. Yes, please say hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Nice, nice. So today we will be playing a one shot as lovingly introduced by Janet as Where is my alligator? I was going to say dragon, but not quite. But it's about as large as a dragon, uh, or at least historically speaking. But in any case, I will fade here into the background. But first, let's introduce uh, Chris. Can you introduce us to your players, please? Take the reins. Yes, absolutely. Um, my name is Chris Katoypoi on the Discord server on World Anvil. I am a uh, part-time dungeon master and never streamer, so this is very fun for me. Um, I have recruited some friends of mine. Um, I will start with our other World Anvil friend, Sable Aradia, Diane Morrison. Um, we've got Tom with Robots Radio and Stuart, also with Robots Radio. They're uh, two professional podcasters that um, I actually happen to be very old friends with Tom. And then I've got my friend from work, Pubs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -woo. All right, if you wanna give us a small blip about the adventure and then you guys can introduce your characters, I will fade into the back here and you guys can get started. I wish you and each and every one of you the best of luck and an amazing right. adventure. Thank you. Okay. We are starting with um, an adventure called Where is My Alligator? And what this is about is the PCs, the players, have come to Lola's Comfy Kitchen on karaoke night for a night of hot food, cold drinks, and electrifying entertainment. Upon your arrival, you're going to be greeted by the owner, and their, the restaurant's patron alligator is missing. Um, and that's what the adventure is going to be about. Um, and let's go ahead and let you guys know what your characters are. Let's start with Tom. Tom. I, I get to start. All right. Yeah. Uh, my character goes by the stage name, The Naked Wizard. He's not actually naked. That's just his stage name. And he's not actually a wizard. He's a bard. <laughs> and uh, he travels the land. He's, he's uh, built up quite the um, notoriety. And uh, you know, is charismatic and typically um, conniving. <laughs> this is awesome. And next we have Stuart right there. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Bendrum Brannock, who is a dwarven artificer. Um, he's really happy to be able to travel around um, and see the world. And is really embraces that, but is also an excellent shot with his pistol and cannon. Awesome. And next we have Sable Aradia right there. Well, I am playing, um, meaning she was raised in a time warp that accelerated her aging because her people are engaged in an extended war against a bunch of abominations on the shattered moon. Um, she is a ranger and a horizon walker, and uh, yeah, she's kind of here for a good time, not a long time, because she was lost on the far realm for a while, and this may have done a little bit of damage to her uh, perspective, let's just say. <laughs> and last, we've got my friend from work, Pops. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing the 57,050th soul forged from the foundry of anam commonly called challenger he is a paladin of the order of the ungorged so neither uh, food nor drink shall pass these lips <laughs> but, uh, this is all set ahead. in my homebrew world um world of wizards peak and it is a magitech world set on the edge of a it's Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, and it's set on the edge of an interplanar gate that opens up every day to a new plane. So let's begin. You are all relatively new arrivals to the Colonel Concordance Zone. You've finished your business at Gold Arrow Station. You've all had your identihedron freshly minted, and it looks just like that in your hand, which you can use to communicate, uh, tell the time, use as a little bit of a light, um, basically, it's like a late 90s cell phone. Let's, let's uh, use that analogy for you. Um, 
you walk you're walking towards you're at the gold arrow station and which is known as the gateway to the zone the kernel concordance zone is the political area that has formed around the kernel pit that is divided into eight subsections right now um you finish your business you known each other like lightly you've maybe been on one adventure before and um you're a pretty good unit and you're kind of like, okay, I can hang out with these guys while I'm on leave or until my next ship comes or until my next scam comes along or whatever it is that you're <laughs> going to be attempting. Um, you're going down to Lola's Comfy Kitchen, world famous kitchen known for its Tolino food, um, barbecued meats, sour stews. Um, it's in the entertainment river district of Gold Arrow Station and Half the reason you want to go is you want to go see Kuya Buwaya. Kuya Buwaya is the kitchen's patron alligator. Sometimes the alligator becomes big enough to carry the whole kitchen on his back and give a tour of the river from top to bottom. Um, as you get closer to the water, you're attracted by the smell of fried fish and the high-pitched squeal of hex crystals as the Magitech sound systems are being tuned for the upcoming singers. <laughs> you have finally made it to Lola's kitchen on the famous karaoke night. Exciting. Cool. <laughs> ben, Bendram has a like a travel guide that okay. he's he's reading as he's walking and is like, oh, well, we're definitely going to be have to try this when we get there. This it says here that this is the best thing to eat at this restaurant. The best thing in the kitchen for you would probably be the kare kare, which is oxtail braised in peanut butter and an auto sauce with vegetables. That, that does, does sound, sound like good. the best thing for me. The, the naked wizard looks at the, the group as we walk up and goes, have any of you been here before? Do you know the manager? I'd like to book a, a gig. No, no. I do not be a first go me. to kitchens. Wait, you don't go to kitchens? <laughs> I've known you for a year now, and I didn't know you don't go to kitchens? Have you ever seen me eat? Well, it I guess is forbidden. That makes sense. I didn't think about it, but you're right. I am glad that there will missing. be entertainment. You don't know what you're missing. You don't yeah, know what you're food missing. Food is amazing. You should try it. It's fun. So I, right. they say I'm a terrible singer, but I'm enthusiastic. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> so uh, mm. are we are we walking into the place right now? You're walking up the stairs. So the kitchen is elevated. It's on stilts. Mm -hmm. It's like the it's on the edge of the river and the water like washes up to it. It's a thatched hut made from bamboo and teak with stairs going up to it. As you're going up the stairs, you notice that there is like um, a sign out the front that says Lola's Kitchen uh, operates under the rules of hospitality. There shall be no violence and um, no intense arguing inside of the kitchen on um uh, punishment will be magical ejection. And as you're coming up the stairs, you see a um, gnome, uh, a, short, a gnome in immaculate dress with black and white streak hair and dark brown skin and a perfectly shaved goatee. And he goes, welcome to the kitchen. You seem like the kind of intrepid adventurers that we need in a time of crisis like this. Our patron alligator, Kuya Buwaya, has been missing for three days now, and our river cruise is coming up tomorrow. Without Kuya to transport us, we'll have to give out refunds. Please help us. Lola Carly would be ever so grateful. I look, at, I look at the group and go, and then back at the gnome and go, do you say this to everyone who comes into the kitchen as they walk in? <laughs> Were we here for work? <laughs> He's like, um, it's just something is just telling me that, that you are the people who are going to be able to solve this problem for me. My name is Mr. Pamplona owner and manager of Lola's Comfy Kitchen. Welcome. Oh, oh, you're the owner. I've been looking for you. I'm the famous naked wizard. Nice to meet you. And I the lean down in a very I kind of condescending way. Wizard. I've never heard of you. And reach out my <laughs> hand and go, oh, well, now you have. And I, I shake his hand. I, he goes, that is incredible. So um, I can- I'm looking around suspiciously to, to see if- uh, if there's like any sign of, you know, the alligator or like, uh, you know, I'm the ranger, right? I'm looking for footprints. You know what I'm looking for. Oh, <laughs> I'm she's looking already for on the job. <laughs> yeah. she, she is. <laughs> yep. 
I think he said to roll. Yeah, roll me a survival roll? check. Sure, I will. You bet. All right, here, survival. Okay. All right, is it set to manage yet? Just a second, sorry. No problem. I am just getting used to this system. This is the first time I have played 5e. I'm an old school gamer and I quit at 3.5. So let's uh, let's see how we do. <laughs> we are going to do You're nice. going to do great, I'm sure. Baptism by fire, 19. Ooh, look nice. at that. Okay, so as you're going up the stairs, you see that um, the, the, there's, a, there's a nest at the bottom of the, um, underneath the kitchen like right by the river's edge. You see that there are offerings that have been left there by people who have come to like, um, just get Kuya Bawaya's help with their marital issues. Um, and you see that nothing has been eaten for three days. And um, mm. based on that 19, you see that he went into the water. I I, 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 I touch uh, Shandalar on the shoulder and go, Sh Shandy, Shandy, we can't start doing the job until we've negotiated the price. You know this. <laughs> and I look back at Fair the gnome and go, and go, gnome friend, whatever your name was. What Mr. are you Pamplona, really... please. Uh, Mr. 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 Pamplona, um, yes, what, uh, what type of reward are we talking if we're able to, and I'm sure we are, and I look at the rest of the group and nod to everybody, if when we discover the whereabouts of your alligator. Well, Kuyubuwaya is super important. What I am prepared to offer is a 200 gold piece. We call them bilog here in the zone. A 200 bilog per person reward, a hat of vermin, a belt of stone skin, and a favor from my mother, for my grandmother, the super famous Lola Carly. That sounds amazing. And also those pants, mm -hmm. they're wonderfully magnificent. Pants? Yeah, your pants. Oh, my pants! Well, I mean, I, I don't know why you call yourself the Naked Wizard, because you're obviously wearing pants. I'm you, wearing several you layers of pants. pants? Every, is, that, is that what you're saying here? Every time we go on an adventure, I make it my, um, uh, it's my thing. I collect the pants of the people who send us on these adventures. I'm wearing three right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, my friend's a bit of a showman. You'll have to excuse him. It's part of my it's part of my shtick. You'll have so, to. So the thing that I want to ask you is: Does it need to be these particular pants that I'm wearing those, right now? Those pants, right now. These pants. Yes, those ones. I will, I will go. Um, can I? Can I roll get, for? If that I, means I, I don't have to give. <laughs> hold on, no, no. Like, <laughs> if that means I don't have to give refunds, I'm all for it. <laughs> Wonderful! It's a deal. <laughs> I look at the rest of the group and go: Are we good? Are we good? We're good, right? We're good. Accepted. Sounds good. Bendro. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in Bendro's the back and I'm just I'm going to replace my pants. But you feel free to come in and ask questions of the staff. Um, I believe the staff was all here that night, and there was one uh, one of our customers, Mr. Shadow, was here that night as well. Mr. No Shadow. Knows. Yes, Mr. Shadow. Hmm. What is his? Is that his actual name? I mean, yes. I guess I shouldn't speak, but... <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mr. The Naked Wizard, Mr. Shadow, is also a person who is here. Is that a stage name? Should I should I know this fellow? I don't know. We know Mr. Shadow here very well. Do you, does, is that his actual name, then? Um, First name, um, Mr. Last name, Shadow. Mr. I, I believe there's a dot in the middle. Mr. Dot Shadow. That's his middle. You know all three of his names. <laughs> I believe so, yes. Is there something we can roll to know whether or not we'd have, we'd have heard of him or? Um, <laughs> I would give, yeah, give me an inside and or a history check. Okay. All Let's right. See here. All right. My insight is in my history. 17. What else we got? What else we got? I've got a 16, looks like. 16. Uh, 21 for Vendro. Ooh, Vendro's got a 21. I'll roll an insight too. It's so. 16. I'm gonna go with Bendrum. Bendrum her, has, um, in his days in artificery school at the Tortoise, um, just has heard rumors of the mysterious Mr. Shadow, who's got a very deep bass voice and wins karaoke night every time. Uh, and it's not unusual you. to be loved by and one. And he never, ever, ever leaves the kitchen. He's always in the kitchen, always on the patio, um, never leaves. Okay. He lives there. Wait, wait. I look there at Benjamin and go. Does he? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. So it's like an inn. 
and kitchen. It's a, it's a tavern, and then there's in the, then then there's smaller Neva huts back on a boardwalk that you can walk on. Oh, oh. cool! All right. Oh, cool. Um, I, I relay that information to uh, everyone, and I'm like, we could probably find him in the kitchen, uh, and also maybe get something to eat. Uh, uh, still looking at his book, um, <laughs> we'll recognize him by his deep voice. Possibly practicing for karaoke, but I'm I'm not sure. I think I hear um, the I sound walk system off being towards cracked. the kitchen. Yes. We may want to ask people if they've seen anything in the restaurant. Anyway, <laughs> they, that's a, that's a well, wonderful that's, idea. I peek, I poke my head in the door and go, "Has anyone seen anything suspicious?" As you poke your head in the door, you see that you're between lunch and dinner service. Uh, there's a few straggling customers sitting around. There's a very pretty gnome girl uh, in serving, uh, cleaning up and serving. There is a, um, and this is in the main dining area. The main dining area is full of rattan antique furniture. It's got high vaulted ceilings of thatch. Um, from the ceiling, they're hanging um, shell lanterns that are magically lit, that are floating in the cool. air like orbs. You see a giant fork and spoon on the wall, and you also see, um, and the, the food smells delicious. I, can, I, I look uh, back at everyone and go, you should get in here. It's beautiful. Also, they've stolen a giant fork and spoon. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, Why so while the naked wizard thing? goes into the process of, like, you know, um, drawing attention and entertaining everybody else, I'm going to turn to the rest of the party, and I'm going to say, yeah, there's offerings there that have been left at least three days ago, and it looks like our um, alligator friend went into the water. That's going to be difficult to track, even for an alligator of that size. So we might want to see if anybody can give us more information. Mm. So three days ago, okay. I look back at, at our our gnome host and I go, uh, "Friend, food is on the house, correct for us?" Um, he goes, "Yes." Um, Zalita, make sure that these guys are taken care of. They're on my tab, and uh, you hear her go, "Wonderful, sure thing, boss." Uh, so I, I, I wave everyone in. I'm like, let's let's do this, friends. I'll order, yeah, some, I enter. I'll order some food. You start looking around, and I'll keep everyone occupied, as mm. as is how we normally do things, right? I and assume food. it must be how we normally do things, because clearly plan. this yes, is how this was our plan. <laughs> <laughs> so as you enter, you see that the staff is in the middle of setting up for karaoke night they're like the waitress is like just trying to close out her tabs close out her tables um the uh the bartender is a water genasi um and um he is like dressed in bright blue he's dressed he has like a super close cut um silver suit that's exposing his navel that has a belly i'm sorry it's a they he they have hair that looks like water that's waving they are a um as if you, since you're from the zone or you're you've been around the zone a while he is something called a mixomancer and the oh, mixomancer yeah. is someone that does um that like magically mixes drinks and then has them go on fire with one hand ice with the other boom you've got your drink and he is um working on the bar he's scrubbing it down he's um prepping his fruits and vegetables and all the things that he'll need for service later that night. And you see that his hand, that he has different hands made of water that are all over the entire bar, just working, scrubbing down the bar, getting tables. His actual attention is he's, he's like checking on the drinks and measuring everything out. You see a greasy goblin um, with a hat and piercings all over his face outside on the patio on the other side from the, the Genasi Mixomancer, he's working on the equipment. He's like got a, um, he's got a, he's working on the crystals. He's like putting everything together here. He's just squealing as he's just getting the sound levels right and everything. He's got like the crystal microphones and he's tuning them to the other sound system. And um, he's looking really busy. He's got a plunger sitting next to him on the ground. Um, and last you see, sitting at the bar, no, sitting at the rail, looking over the river, there is a person completely covered in shadows. And cool. give me a question. I go up to the bar and I'm ordering food. And I'm, and I'm 
just are you going to the waitress or are you going to the genasi the no uh, waitress or the genasi uh the, who was the one is that the one that um our gnome friend told i think that was the waitress who was the waitress. Told yeah, I, got, I got up to the waitress and i and i start i start yeah i will have some oxtail and we'll have some uh what else is what else is good here and i start having conversation with her and so, uh, placing some order for food while the rest of these guys can kind of spread out some babinka. Yeah. yeah she oh. comes in and she says well hey honey how you doing um let me get you uh, uh are you guys all together do i need to get you a table no, oh we're good yes we'll honey? sit we'll sit right over there right um right right here is fine and just bring us bring us a sampling of all your best things a sampling of the best. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you together a, uh, I'm going to get you together some adobo, which is uh, uh, abyssal chicken cooked in soy sauce and vinegar and black pepper. I'm going to get you some lumpia, which are little meat egg rolls. And I'm going to get you some of this lechon, which is uh, thunder boar stuffed with lemongrass, onion, and garlic roasted over the spit. The skin is extra crispy for you guys. Tonight. Sounds delicious. Um, yes, let's do all of that. Do you guys want balut? I can bring you balut too. Yeah, everything. Everything. Oh, okay. No, no, not the balut. And this, um, the, the, <laughs> the, nothing but tentacles. In it, please, says Chandelar. What was that, Chandelar? Just nothing with tentacles in it, please, says Chandelar. <laughs> nothing. Well, okay. We'll make sure that the uh, we'll make sure that the calamari isn't coming out there, hun. Calamari. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring the calamari too. She doesn't have to eat it. Just don't mix it into everything else. We'll do, okay. we'll do that. She stands sense. reluctantly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so also, I'm, I'm keeping this going so that the rest of the group can kind of go talk to other people. Uh, um, but I'm making a big show of this. Like, God, shouldn't we like ask her? Um, shouldn't you ask her about <laughs> what uh, yeah. happened three nights ago? Uh, well, uh, let's. Why don't? Why don't? Well, I'll let her I'm go get the food, and then I'll interview her when she comes back out, yeah. so that you guys can. Okay. Obviously, the shadow guy in the corner seems more important right now. So I'm assuming that you guys are going to hit up some of the other people in the room. Okay. Uh, so, do you want to divide and conquer, or do you want to go as a group? Well, okay. I have a minus to charisma. I'm going to interpret <laughs> that that I am really shy and kind of weird because I don't have any idea what real like society is like. <laughs> so okay. um, you may want to supervise me so I don't put my foot in it. All right, I've got some <laughs> persuasion, so I'll, uh, I'll go. With, I'll go with you, Chandelier. Okay. Um, Benjamin, you want to come with too? Um, I was I was going to head to the bar and attempt to get a drink and chat with the Janasi. Okay, um, I'll take Chandelier and talk to uh, Mr. Shadow since you uh, we seem yes, to think he's important. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with Mr. Shadow because there is a uh, 16 insight check here from Ch from Challenger. And what happens is as you're looking at, at Mr. Shadow, you feel mm. your eye circuits like getting... Uh, that was a 10. Okay, that's not so bad. No, there was an earlier one. Or was that something oh. else? Oh, no, that was... Yeah, that was the earlier one when we walked okay. in the room. There we go. Got it. So... Your eyes water as you're looking at Mr. Shadow. You see that Mr. Shadow is like, feels like he is not as big as he looks compared to where he is. He feels to you like he's a, about hundreds of feet, thousands of feet, miles tall, but appears to be sitting there in that place because of forced perspective. And then you just like shake your head and you like rub your eyes a little bit. And then it's just a guy wearing a black cloak on the side of the rail drinking um a drink with a straw from a hollowed out coconut with an umbrella in it i'm keeping i'm keeping an ear to what else is going on in the room just in case i need okay. to like hop over and join the conversation yeah um okay i'm not phased by this but i am watching mr shadow mm -hmm. closely after that i mean far realm right stuff like that yeah. happens all the time i'm sure <laughs> as, you're, as you're walking <laughs> mr. shadow mr shadow is sitting there he doesn't even look at you. He goes, there will be a time for me to talk to you. The time is not now. Come to me last, good sir. Uh, uh, okay. Right. I will come so speak to you for later. <laughs> Back away slowly. <laughs> he just, he goes, <laughs> and I, I, I kind of, I kind of you wander have, over. You have Archie refill my Mai Tai. Thank you. I, I kind of wander over as I as I heard this go on. I, I lean in and go, maybe um, maybe start with the goblin over there, and uh, I'll see if I can um, 
convince him to speak in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Could you please we'll have the bartender send this? I'll, I'll go get the drink. I'll get the drink. Um, Mr. You. Mr. Dot Shadow, uh, I will be right back with your drink. I'll help you out, friend. Like, performer to for performer, right? He just goes, hmm. <laughs> and then we switch over to Vendrum, who is talking yeah. to the bartender. The bartender, let me check uh, let me check in Vendrum's. Vendrum, what's your charisma score? Um, uh, straight charisma score is uh, charisma. an eight minus one. An eight? <laughs> Got it. I do. So my persuasion is a plus one, though. Oh, we'll 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 weird. we'll kind of we'll kind of roll with that. So what's going to happen is, as you're walking over, you see that um, uh, the Genasi is there, and, and he goes, "Oh, honey, you're uh, you're coming over here when I'm real busy. Do you, are you ordering a drink, or what are you doing over here?" So I see Bendrum as a sort of uh, really nice person, but like a proper tourist that doesn't really that is aware that they don't understand how things work in other parts of the world um mm -hmm. so he mm -hmm. he sort of stops and he's like oh well i uh i was going to order a drink but i'm also just enjoying watching you do your craft over here um uh so if it's okay i'll just sit at the bar and watch or i'll i'll go and sit down away from you it's up to you i don't i don't really mind he goes oh sugar i always love someone watching me do what i do do, do, are you ordering a drink or what are you doing over here? Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, I would really like to get a... Now, he mispronounces the the, the word, um, kind mm -hmm. not purposefully, like he just is terrible at pronouncing things. He's like, Kuya Bawaya's Swamp Water, please? Oh, yeah. Kuya Bawaya Swamp Water. That's our favorite. So he goes in, he gets some gin, he gets some green tomato juice and some hot sauce. He mixes it together with a celery stock. He like sits it on the table, goes like this. Whoosh, the drink arcs over his head into there. The celery stock comes flying out of his chest. Goes tunk right there. He goes, well, wow, thank you, sir. That'll be uh, two silver pieces. And it's served in a barrel shaped mug. Amazing. Uh, Bendrum is like visibly uh, excited by this and he said you hear him under it like not under his breath but just quietly say something about how much better this is than ale out of the um out of the keg and he has a sip and he's like oh <clears throat> oh good good thank you that was amazing, that was amazing. well while because, this is happening oh. i've i've now wandered over to the bar also in order to mm -hmm. ask for the drink for our shadow friend um, and, and i note and i noticed that whole display and i go that was amazing and he gives he gives you the eyeball he or sorry they they turn to you and they go oh now this is what i was waiting for there's a oh nice drink right there what is your name sir oh hello i am the naked wizard you may have heard of me the naked wizard yes. is, is that is it it's like is that really gonna happen tonight honey is that what you're telling me <laughs> and i lean back in and go well we'll have to see won't we oh honey you're so fresh you are so fresh. Um, while what, I have what, your what are you attention, for? Uh, our shadow friend over there needed a, a refill on his beverage. Um, uh, but maybe while you, uh, while I watch you work, you can tell me a little bit about what you might know about this um, alligator Ooh, incident. Okay. So he goes, I love it when someone's watching me work. And he like, he's carving out a pineapple hey, for you. <laughs> he's like, he's like uh, normally Mr. Shadow like to, likes to have his likes to have it to use the same pineapple i'm gonna call this one out just for you and he's like pouring out this pineapple with magic and like the little pieces of pineapple are spinning up out of it and onto the table lining up perfectly in a line in front of you um so what we're gonna do is we are going to do a attitude skill check and you are going to try and change his attitude from neutral to friendly here okay uh, this is going to be a dc 17 and since you bought a drink, you get a plus one to the roll. Since right. you floated back, you got a plus three to the roll. Sweet. And since your name is the Naked Wizard, I'm going to give you advantage. Go. Yes. <laughs> Makes sense. Yes. Um, I remember this character kit. Yep. Is this a, is this a persuasion? <laughs> is this a persuasion roll? Uh, yeah. I am allowing you guys to use whatever you want for the roll as long as you can explain oh. it. All right. I'm going. I'm, 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 this is a persuasion roll because that's that's what I do. Yeah. 
And I, I give a little extra wink and go and, and look at the, what he just did on the bar and go, you are a master at your craft. Oh, this is not even the best, the thing I'm best at. Oh, what <laughs> would that be? <laughs> That's for you to find out. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So I roll. Uh, oh, well, I guess I roll twice, right? For yeah. Oh so, my god. Oh, there you 23. go. Twenty three. Twenty three, and that's before your additional stuff. Yeah, I know that is a wow. twenty. That is like a thirty. Excellent. So he. So number <laughs> one, he gives you a key to the. They give you a key to their room, like with the drink. <laughs> and I, I go, uh, nice. and I put it in my pocket, and I go, oh, this will be useful. Then, Thank you. then they go, well, okay, so, um, it's like, I don't just tell anybody this, but when I was, uh, what happened was, there was a shooting star that happened three nights ago, and um, I saw that shooting star, and Kuya Bawaya went into the water and swam north, up toward the Kiranol Wastes, away from the zone, and um, the funny thing is, I saw that shooting star take a weird turn. You could even say a queer turn over to the left, and it descended to the ground slowly. Goodness. How Kuya strange. Bawaya, let to investigate that. This elf here is perking up at that. I was going to say that while this is going on, I go to the table where there is food. I take okay. some and eat it, and I start watching this interaction and observing everybody you know, on the staff carefully. Give me an... Insight or perception roll. Tell let me tell me which you which one you want to make. Uh, looks like my perception is better, so I will use that. Okay. And that'd be a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Wow. With a nineteen. That's um, good. what you're noticing is I have my list here of what that means. Okay, um, so you notice that the staff, uh, none of the none of the guests, but the staff, are have a slightly glazed over look on their eyes. Mm. Also, you see that um, when they turn, you can see just a slight discoloration on the backs of their necks. Discoloration, eh? Yep. Okay. Okay. Hmm. But you no, haven't I haven't. You, you haven't told us this yet, so we don't know. No, I haven't. No. All right. No. Um, I, okay. I thank I, I thank them for the drink, and I go. I'll I'll deliver this uh, back to our, our the darkness friend or whatever his name was. Oh, <laughs> Mister Dot Shadow. Yes. Oh, also, I've got this for you. And then he slides you over a um, bottle of psychic beer. If you get the, if and it's like I've got a couple that that is from my personal stash just because you're so handsome and giving this oh, to you. goodness but, you're too good to me and I take I, it. I, I, I have two more. I, I have two more bottles back here, but they're a hundred below each. I don't know if you want those or not, but that might be fun for you. Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll I'll try anything and I. Oh, you drink, drink it. it now? Yes. Okay. Whoa. So okay, <laughs> I'm dropping. Yeah, I know what this means. <laughs> I'm dropping a link into our chat. Oh, that's the wrong link. Sorry, not that link. I'm dropping a link uh, into our chat, and you are going to roll on my psychic beer table on my site. <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Roll All right. On is this just a is this table. just a twenty? What's no? It is not. What, is it? what am I rolling? So psychic beer is a beer made from psychos. Um, I'm sorry, hexocybin mushrooms. And what the psychic beer does is it grants you a random magical effect. Um, and you have this special psychic beer power for as long as you are, um, as long as you're tipsy. I got it. Well, I hit the roll button and it landed on speak with animals. There you go. You can talk okay. to animals. You can now speak to animals. Do I realize this or is this just yes. something I will discover at some point in the future when I come across an animal? Yes. You, you can speak to animals and you hear... The, the geckos, the tokay geckos up in the attic, rustling through, shh, 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 and you can hear them say, they're here, they're here. The ones the ones that are going to save Kuyabuwai and Lola Carly are here. And I, I look around strangely like, other voices? This is fun. <laughs> I think second beer can Are do that. you hearing voices now, says Shandor? <laughs> uh, when am I not hearing voices, Shandy? 
Um, thank you so much for this beer. It's delicious. And um, it seems to be affecting me in other ways unexpected. I will deliver this uh, drink back to our shadowy friend over there. Um, and start heading that way. Okay. So you start heading back to Mr. Shadow. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Um, where are we at? Okay. So I, I was uh, approaching the uh, the stage with the goblin. The goblin. Okay. Let's move I'm sorry. I should have mentioned yeah. that. Okay. The so, naked wizard sent me in that direction. <clears throat> but we'll yeah, see how yeah, well the, Robert, yeah. the robot and the goblin get together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the goblin is setting up the stage with his hex crystal microphones and the amplifying sound crystals. Um, his face is covered in piercings. He's also wearing like a bucket hat that has metal decorations all over it. Um, he's going, uh, I'm just trying to finish setting up so I can get back to my vision. Uh, greeting bondsman. Sorry to interrupt, but I had a few questions about the missing alligator. Oh, yeah. Kuya Buwaya. What do you got? Um, I'm real we, believe, we believe that he disappeared three days ago. Do you remember anything from that night? Yes. He disappeared three days ago. So I'm not. <laughs> <It's, it's three. laughs> that was helpful. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> He's like do you remember anything else that might have attracted the attention of the alligator? I do not know what attracts alligators. But it was, do, it was probably any... no knowing that alligator is probably something to eat. You know, he likes he likes eating dead rotten things, I, live things. I do not understand. Things he likes but, okay, you know about eating, sir? I you're, do not not eat. of, you're not one of them weird ones, are you? The weird soul forged. I am a <laughs> normal soul forged. No, no allow no. me to reintroduce myself. I am Challenger. I am of the order of the ungorged. I oh, shall not gorge you are one of or drink. Got it. Got it. What, what are you doing here? Are you here for the singing? Because I know you're not here for the eating or the drinking. Yes, I would like to be entertained with the singing. So I will. I will leave you to well, complete your work. If you do not know anything more about what happened I am three not days here ago, for the entertainment. And I'm just like, um, are you? Give Give me an insight check. Okay. <laughs> Would you oh would you like a hand? <laughs> Actually, I don't probably I probably know nothing about or insight uh, or perception. What do you got? What's next? Tech. I'll do uh, insight. Okay, let's roll it. Got a sixteen. That is a sixteen. Okay, you see that everything, all of the metal bits in his hat are fishing lures, and the um, piercings on his face are also all fishing lures. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know if <laughs> Challenger knows what fishing is. Okay, uh, I, I noticed you have very interesting barbs upon your uh, face and apparel. Yes. Um, is this related to your fishing activity? I am unfamiliar. Could you tell me more about it? Yes. What I do with these is I take meat and I put the meat on the hook. Then I put the hook into the water and then the fish puts the meat into its mouth. And then it eats the meat, and then I pull in the fish, and then I eat the fish with my mouth. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, on the way to dropping off this drink, have noticed this conversation and kind of wander back over to bedroom and go, uh, uh Bend Bendrum, this is painful. Do you mind helping our <laughs> challenger friend over here while I deliver the drink? So, so the barb no, I'm going makes to get the fish beer. gorge upon it, and then it <laughs> murders them so they may be gorged upon by others. Yes, that's called this is called amazing. Like the of life there, buddy. I must tell the story to my order. <laughs> okay, I'm what, loving the idea that Challenger is now just amazed by fishing and the process of fishing from that perspective and is hopefully just going to relay it to everyone we meet. Um, <laughs> yes, I learned about this thing. It is called fishing. Where, where yeah. do I obtain one of these barbs that I may tell this story to my people? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Is someone coming to help him, or is he going to roll Bendrum, naked yeah, right Bendrum, now? Was Bendrum just good with the beer and was like, no, I'm, I'm cool? Bendrum's going to order one of the beers that you had and then uh -huh. go and sit down with uh, Chandelier because um, he's enjoying watching Chow. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I look at him and go, ah, fine, I'll do it myself. The, the shadow guy will have to wait. And I, I wander over to Challenger and go, Challenger, it seems you've learned something new. Yes, this bondsman goblin has 
has told me about these strange devices, which are teach you about the evil of gorging. For I'm I'm right here, guys. I'm I'm right here. Fishing, fishing. Uh, I, I yes. see what you're talking about here. Fishing, yes. This strange you're, you're, barb is gorged upon by the fish, and then it murders them from the inside. I'm right here, guys. Uh, yes. It's amazing. <laughs> you're talking about me, and I, I'm right oh, here. Hello, friend. Yes. Hello, friend. I would I, like I to thank you. Hello. Um, I, uh, you're you're getting in the way of my work, so it's like. If you if you if you don't, I'm have gonna to, head, head over there and be like, okay, come on, guys, let's let's let him do his job. I'm well, sorry. Here, here, friends, friends, to them, friends. Yeah. I'm I am a performer. You may have heard of me, the Naked Wizard. I have never heard lots of, of experience. I, I might could I could I help you with some of what you're doing in order to finish your setup faster? If you wouldn't mind um, sharing a little bit more information than just about fishing with me. All right, so we're going to let <laughs> we're gonna let um the naked wizard make the roll with uh some assistance from challenger uh i am not giving you advantage on this but <laughs> okay. i am, nope. am going to give you let's see i'm going to give you a plus two because you asked about the lures i'm going to give you a plus one because challenger is a soul forged and i'm going to give you well you're only a half elf right so i'm not going to give you I'm half elf. so i'll give you a plus three on the roll all right, Ooh, and nice. this is a persuasion in order to get more information from him. Correct. Okay, so yeah, uh, thirteen plus how many was that? Three. Three plus sixteen. Three. Okay, sixteen. Ooh. Ooh. Um. So you need a seventeen. Ah, you did offer to help man. set up the sound. I system. did offer to help set up the sounds. I start. I start like leaning down and plugging things in for him and go, I've done this a million times. It'll it'll be done very quickly. You have some sort of tool check that you can give me and beat a 12 with. A, a tool, tool check? Tool proficiency. Uh, yeah. what, it, it's, a, it's a it's tech tech, so like an arcana. Can you make an arcana check? If he's got arcana. I've got arcana. Okay, beat a 12. Uh, boom. Yes. 22. 22. Oh my god. That was a natural 20. <laughs> Nat 20. Yeah, he actually yeah. finishes he actually just finishes the setup while he's talking. Like that. You just you just, you you just kneel down and from all your time as a performer you just go click 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 click. Yeah. To the door. Yeah. And then yeah. and then, like, and then oh, I've actually man. balanced I balanced the mixing board also. Yes, you did. While doing this. This. With my Guano, other hand. The, the the goblin's name is Guano. It just goes, "Oh, that was amazing." Fine, fine, fine. Even though you smell like elf, you smell you smell like flowers. I don't like the flower smell. But what oh, I'm sorry, do it's is... just part of my it's part of my shtick. It's oh. for the ladies. Wink, wink. For the ladies. <laughs> then why were you messing around with uh, Archie over there? Well, you know, I'm I don't have anything against them either. Wink, wink. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Ah. You have to play to both, in my experience. He goes. Ah, you're not my type. But I will tell you this. There's been some strange wreckage coming down river the past few days. I got metal chitin. I got broken weaponry from like another world. I made this lure from some of it. And he holds up like a lure. I don't got a lure. <laughs> um, and uh, you know Shadow what? I hope I to see it too, actually. Get oh, a look that? at it. Can I Can I come over and see if I can get a look at it too? The lure? Like what, what he's holding up? Yeah. Yep. He says it's it's like a, it's a fishing lure, and he says, "I hope this helps you bring back Kuya Bawaya. We miss that big fat alligator over here." And then he goes, "Um, and what it is? It's a lure, which is a ring of spell soaring, with that he crafted from the wreckage that has one casting of hypnotic pattern in it." Ooh. So it's probably magical, or definitely magical, or it should is we definitely magical? Shaking? Okay. That is a ring of spell soaring. He goes, yeah. "That's for you." Now. Cool. I do got to get back to uh, my fishing underneath, underneath the kitchen. Thank you for helping me set up. Save me some oh, time. Oh, no problem, friend. Friend, thank, thank you for, for thank you for the gift. Um, Challenger, you get to hold on to this. <laughs> I give mm -hmm. it to Challenger. I, I must share this with my order. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're very proud. Um, I'll get I'll I'll get started on a tuning it right now. <laughs> okay, it wasn't what I was after. I was hoping to get a look at something oh. from the materials that. Uh, he he yeah. said that this is from the material. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's, a, so. that's good. What did did you give me a roll? What do you got inside? You didn't or? ask me. Uh, no, I no. will roll. I'd like to know if I can identify what it came from. Maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let me take a look at you. Um, what I want you to roll is. <sighs> 
Let's see. Give me an investigation. Sure. Makes sense to me. Not bad. 16. 16. Okay. So your experience on the far realm is mm. letting you know that this is not from the far realm. But since you are an elf who is stationed on the moon and has seen some gnarly crap up there, you can tell that this is not from this world. It's from the stars. Right. And it's from, it is from an aberration abomination. Mm, okay. Something spidery. Spidery. Okay. Spidery. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Mm, okay. Mm. Uh, hmm. While okay. they're uh, figuring that out, I go, I've got a drink to deliver still. And I start heading over. As you're starting to walk away, Z Zalbadora, also going by Zalita, comes back with your uh, Lola Carly Comfy Kitchen Sampler. Okay. Excellent. Oh, Amazing. She Thank lays you. out. She's, is she's, got some, uh, she's got some lumpia. She's got some adobo. She's got some sinigang, which is a fish stew. She's got like... Um, Babinka, which is a rice cake, and then she's got another babinka made with ube, which is a purple yam. And it all looks super delicious. And as she walks up, she goes, um, All right, y'all, is there anything else I can get for you tonight? Or uh, are y'all taken care of? How's I, that? I, lean, I, play? I, 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 lean, I lean down and, and just grab whatever's closest to me and put it in my mouth and go, Oh, this is marvelous. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, okay. uh, one question before you move on. I think this looks, uh, this is plentiful. This is enough for all of us. I, and I nod at everyone in a yes, yep. yeah, no, agree I'm... with me kind of way. Um, mm -hmm. is, is there, just, I, I know you're probably so busy with the kitchen and the, and the food and the, and the d delivering of these delicacies. Uh, is there anything you might be able to tell us about this uh, mysterious alligator incident? Um, yeah, Mr. Uh, Kuya Buwaya, he like, uh, he left. Three days ago, he went north into the wastes. Yes, uh, north into the wastes. Now, did you notice anything mysterious or strange on that day? Oh, mysterious or strange. Um, Let me see here. Uh, give me an arcana check on her. Oh, oh God. It's a one. <gasps> it's a one. So um, she is a hot little gnome waitress. <laughs> um, who else is talking to her? Is this you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there. Ben, Bendrum has there. Been, I'm, Bendrum's been waiting for the food, so he's right there. Oh, yeah, Bendrum's waiting for the food. Bendrum, I'm probably yeah. also at the table, not, not waiting for the food. <laughs> Bendrum and Chandelar, give me give me insights as well. Sure. Yeah, did you say okay. insights, right? Uh, insight or perception? Ar Arcana? I, I rolled an Arcana. but um, Insight or perception? Okay. I, I, I'm allowing insight, perception, or Arcana on this. So. Uh, it'll be a 22 oh, for me. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, Bendrum's got an okay I'm, one. Challenger, Challenger staring at the at the fishing lure. <laughs> Challenger is like fascinated by this little bit of like of like of alien spider chitin going. And this goes in the mouth. It goes in the mouth. <laughs> and then it no. kills you. No. No. no, no, it shall not pass. No, it shall not pass. No. Okay. So Bendrum and Chandelar notice uh Bendrum notices that she is wearing um like underneath her waitress uniform, she's wearing like a uh, Wizard's Peak University t-shirt. And Chandelar oh, notices yeah. that her necklace is actually an arcane focus. Ah. Oh, she's she, she, Well, Chandelar goes, ah, I go, I go, what, what, what? What's hmm. the ah? Speak. Sh a a magic class. student, she says? Hmm. Oh, you like, you like magic too? Well, I'm a, I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I say in a very proud kind of funny way. Why do we um, go anywhere with him? She says quietly to Ben. <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm listen, listen I, I heard yeah. that. I've I've saved us on like a half a dozen maybe occasions. Um, what's your what's your what's your uh what's your deception on that? Because I've got I've got a 15. Uh, <laughs> 21. Okay. 21! She goes, okay. you're a wizard. Oh, oh yes, that's that's amazing. And then she goes, "Hold on, I've been locked on her accent yet." Okay, and she goes, "Um, <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, tell me about your wizarding, because I I dropped out of Wizards Peak University, 
It's like, I was just like, you know, my, my family was so proud to send me over there, but I just, I test so poorly that I, I dropped out. And I'm just like, oh, you know, you know what? I, I, can, I, I, can I dropped it. out too. What I can make were it you the there? Way? Oh, oh, you're a dropout too. Oh, oh yes. Cool. I figured I would learn more out in the world than locked up in some fancy tower. Mm. You know what? You're I right. too. I've, I've learned so much here. Just working at my, my great, great, great aunt's um, kitchen and with my great uncle, uh, Mr. Pamplona. Yeah, it's so nice here. I, I think, yes. I really think I could learn more here too. Yeah, you you seem to be doing very well for yourself. I think you made the right choice. <laughs> Does she have, uh, have, I'm going to see if I can, you said all the staff have like a, a discoloration on the back of the neck. I'm going to see if I can see that since she's like right here. Yep. Well, I'm keeping her attention. Look. Right. Yeah. yeah. You kind yeah. of wander yeah. around. I'll give you advantage on a, um, what is it, investigate? Is that your best stat there? Uh, Perception's uh, better. I'll let you. Uh, yeah, perception is better. So I'll let you yeah. use your perception roll. You awesome. have advantage. Okay. Yeah, so. 21. So you see that that little thing has like, you see like, little tendrils going up from her neck mm. into her hairline and it's going up in there um as uh <clears throat> as you're doing that she's talking to the naked wizard and she's saying well the thing that i've noticed is that um the uh the kitchen staff we felt all felt kind of off the past few weeks i noticed that the protective wards around the kitchen were uh not quite right and um, and she's starting to sweat, and her brow is sweating. Good. Mm -hmm. And then she, like, mm -hmm. she goes, oh, "You have to find Kuya and Lola, please, before it's too late." So um, it's been fun talking to y'all, but I got. Did she go just say and Lola? Bye, hun. And then as she leaves, she yeah. drops a bottle with a note on it, and she's going back into the suit. Into I'm grabbing kitchen. that. Well, that was disturbing. What's oh. the bot? What's in the bottle? Yeah, what's in the it's, bottle? It's Lola Carly. When you pick up the bottle, there's a note wrapped around it, and it says, um, and it's in a uh, very precise, nice handwriting. It says, "If you get this, know that I'm helping as much as I can. Please save Lola and Kuya. And uh, this is a potion that will uh, help you against acid. Potion of resistance acid with three doses Ooh. in it." Okay. All right. Seems like we have a hostage situation here, don't, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's time we like paid her tab and had a little chat. She says. A little, mm. a little chat with ourselves, or yeah. there's the um, spooky with guy in the corner still. I guess oh. that's true. We probably should see if he'll speak to us now. I still am holding his drink. He's probably wondering what's taking me so long <laughs> to get back to him. <laughs> Hold, holding the Mai Tai ransom until we get the answers we want. <laughs> oh I, 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 I wave to the corner and go, one, one moment, please. I'm sorry I got distracted. He goes, hmm. Oh, um, some, uh, come, come with me, friends. I might need some backup here. And I head over and go, um, I've got your back. I go, um, you're my Thai friend. Uh, I'm sorry, it took me a little bit longer than anticipated. He takes, to he goes, Thank you. I've been waiting for this. Archie, he holds it up into the air like this. Archie goes, Pyong! and then ice ice cubes just shoot out of his finger into the drink. <laughs> that's a, okay, that was that's amazing. Cool. Says Chandelier. That aim is impressive. That is cool. So you, I, 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 I get the sense, friend, that you've uh, been here a while. You're friends with Archie, and and uh, and I, I, I wave back at Archie with a, with a grin. Hi, Archie. Archie. Um, <laughs> would you mind? Um, we're we're trying to help with this whole alligator situation, and you seem to be somebody who's important. Do you, do you mind um, answering some questions for us? As he turns to look at you, you see red eyes, deep back in the shadow, just like glowing at you from like. Um, an impossible depth inside of the hood. And he goes, <clears throat> I have been waiting for you. This prison, my beloved home, is under assault. And I have seen that only you can help. My jailer is missing. My friend is missing. Was the... Um I look around confused and go, the alligator was your jail jailer? I think I think he means, I believe he means Lola Carly. Oh, that would make more sense now, wouldn't it? Sometimes <laughs> I'm not very smart. 
Um, what can we do to? Um, we're here to help. Uh, yes. Would you? Do you have any information that would help us find your friend? You seem to know a lot. He's he's just looking at you. You just see the red eyes, just just staring at you from the depths of this hood, and then you hear the voice say, "I would love to help you, okay. but I remain myself. I cannot give you what has not been earned. My knowledge must be claimed in." Karaoke combat. <laughs> what in the yes. Let's do this. Do we get to actually sing? That'd be cool. I'm down. I'm down for this. Let's go. <laughs> I'll put my pop screen on. We can sing. That'd be awesome. As, as you're walking in, you notice that um, the uh, the playlist, as you were looking, has um, songs under Mr. Shadow's name with things like uh, the names of the songs are do be cruel, wound, old Gator River, um, and bad. Um, <laughs> and then he says, "Okay, how do you want to do this? I will sing a song, and then you will sing a song, and then we shall see what happens." I'm down. All right. I've been looking for uh, an opportunity to perform anyway. <laughs> I put, I take my hat off and literally put it at the front of the stage and go, friends, if you enjoy tonight's performance, please leave a tip. <laughs> Bendrum, uh, Bendrum downs his psychic beer and Ooh. stands up. Roll on the psychic beer table. Doesn't quite understand what he's about to. <laughs> <laughs> what would What'd you get? Grow arms. Uh, oh, nice! <laughs> you grow an extra set of arms. That means we can take an extra bonus action, but with disadvantage, as long as you have your bonus. Handy, says All right. Chandelier. That is better cool. than grow tail. Grow tail was a one right under it. Uh, and Bendrum says, as the arms grow out, he's like, I will sing. <laughs> Bedroom, I've got this. I, I wait. I, I look over at our shadow friend. Uh, can all of us compete, or is it we just have to pick a uh, a one of us? And I go, Bedroom, um, you know, you know, you know, this is my thing. I can sing. <laughs> I know this is your thing. He goes, Shandy, the Shandy. The Who wants to go first? All right, Bendem, come on up, come on up, and I and I and I, and I pretend like I'm now hosting this. Friends, welcome Bendrum to the stage. Um. Bendrum. Bendrum. <laughs> uh, can you? Sorry. Uh, what's one, what's a uh, another title of the song that he can sing? Um, would you say bad? Bad. Bad. Do be cruel. By Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And then he's got his song up his sleeve. Okay. All right. So Bendrum uh, goes to the stage, um, and he. He um, creates a Eldridge cannon that he sits on, like in front of the stage, um, and he turns around, <laughs> faces away, and all four arms are in front of him. Oh my okay, God. and uh, as the music starts, he's he's silent, sort of crossed in front of him, but his back to the audience, um, and then. Just before he's about to sing, he it, it is a it is a flamethrower Eldridge cannon, and he <laughs> shoots into the air, fire, and turns <laughs> around and just bellows out um, the song. Uh, and he rolls with his minus one on performance. Uh, and <laughs> awesome! Uh, it's a nine. It's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Alone. But he, he goes at it. Like he, he's he's that person at karaoke that can't sing, but is is you but know, going for it. Got he, it. He's he's one cocktail and a psychic beer down, so he's ready to go. Oh, um, I love it. I love the pyro. Mr. Shadow goes a valiant effort. <laughs> <laughs> and then he ignores it. Very very nice. Oh. Very nice. Good good job, Bendrum. I enjoyed the pyrotechnics. He goes. <laughs> The burning of the flames was most impressive. Thank you. 
Right, so I right. also have a minus yeah, one on yeah. performance, but I don't know if you, if uh, if I can get like some benefit from actually singing, I'll sing. Sandy, come on up. <laughs> the more the merrier. Come on. Sandy, yes. Yeah. Chandelar, singing. everyone. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm I'm, oh, I'm getting God. excited. He goes, yes, Chandelar of uh, the Angulesi Elves, please sing. Hi. Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If Let's you see. if you want to like uh I see that your athletics is better. So yep. if you want to like if you want to mix in like a little bit of like shimmy shimmy, that is uh I'll let you roll shimmy, that one shimmy. instead of the performance. <laughs> okay. But you All right. it yeah, me. sure, sure. Why and not? Shimmy, shimmy. I'm an elf, I'm sure I know how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> a little more Britney yeah. Spears action. Britney Spears. Mm, yeah, yeah, can you sing okay. oops I did it again? <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I'm what I forgot the lyrics. I played with your heart, got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby. Oops, you think I'm in love. Something from above. I cast a minor not illusion. Not I cast a minor illusion that makes it look like she's actually in the music video, like behind her. Like, <laughs> like a. Like a yeah, <laughs> there's like lockers like, and like dancers behind her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm here. That's inspiration, by the way. I'm also giving Bendrum inspiration for the flamethrower thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll roll the athletics. Thanks, guys, for the backup. We'll see how we do. Okay, roll it. And we rolled a five on the die, so we have seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So this as like a real karaoke. Though, I don't know. Split, <laughs> I think like some of your some of your underwear was showing or something. Something like you that, go. probably. Wouldn't that I be beneficial though? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that give oh, you benefit? Right. So your underwear was not showing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like, as yeah. you were turning, you were like trying to do a little chimmy, and then like your your like whatever you're wearing just covered the parts that you wanted to show. So you failed. Um it was a seven? Yeah. Oof. Ugly. Ugly. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Four. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you advantage for the illusion. Roll again. Roll again? Yeah. 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 Reroll! So yes! Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, ah, even worse. Oh, no. <laughs> even worse. What are the chances? You go no. I fell off the stage. Yeah. He goes, this is disgusting. Is... This is my Snap. experience of he, he, um, carrying. You appear over the <laughs> river and you fall in the river. You take one oh, six no. psychic damage. You are ejected. Oh. Five psychic oh. damage and you are in the river waiting for everyone else. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I didn't think it was that bad. She Where said, go? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was a, it was a seven. You needed to. He, uh, Mr. Shadow is very forgiving, but if you roll a seven on your, on your roll, you are in the river. Here we go. Okay. Um, it's the naked Mr. Wizard. Shadow, am Mr. I up or would you like to go? Um, oh, um, Mr. Shadow? No, you, no, you're a challenger. Challenger, your name is Challenger. That's Mr. Yes. Shadow. Okay. Let me introduce you. Mr. Shadow, Challenger, Challenger, Mr. Shadow. Pleased to meet you. Would you like to do a Mr. Shadow impression for our little competition challenger? Um, you would like me to pretend to be Mr. Shadow? Whatever you would like to do. Would you like to perform? Uh, I I can do a performance if you'd like. Come on up, everyone. <laughs> challenger. <laughs> Is he going to do the robot? Please. Uh, He's naturally no, doing a robot. <laughs> just just be a robot. <laughs> Domo erogato, Mr. Uh, Roboto. Oh, that would actually would be hilarious. <laughs> Domo. Like, Domo. Around the, around the world and just continually so, wh singing. What are you performing for? Um, I, 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 I have an Irish drinking song I could always sing. If, uh, if, you're, if you're willing to bear with it. Actually performing? All right. All right. Go for it. Right, here we go. <clears throat> well, there once was a man. He was looking for a wife. And he knew what he had in mind. A pretty little thing who would love him all his life. He knew not what he would find. So he went to an inn where they kindly let him in. At the sign of the lion's den. 
a girl he would see she was probably a three on a scale of one to ten so he ordered up a beer but his vision still was clear so he ordered up one pint more well, when it passed his lips he was staring at her hips and decided she was probably a four now when that pint was through he decided for to woo so near to her he I, I know where the song is going I and since it. she was alive she was probably a five <laughs> and he asked her for her name well she looked him in the eye but she gave him no reply and they brought him a glass of wine he was really in a fix they were looking like a six and he says will you be mine well, after drink 11, she was looking like a seven. In fact, she was really great. After one more round, surprisingly, he found he was sitting with an eight. When he asked her to dine, he was sure she was a nine. And he reached for his ring, and then he drank another ale, vowed his love would never fail. And he praised her as a ten. Now he has a wife who will love him all his life. And a long life it will be. For when the ale had cleared his head, he'd wish that he was dead, because he'd married a minus three. <laughs> very nice, very, very nice. nice. Very Where nice. did you learn that song, Challenger? This is a song my order teaches us about the dangers of imbibing liquids. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> very accurate. Give me a persuasion. You get advantage. Oh my God, that's amazing. That, was, that was worth the payoff, yeah. As long as I we roll something, I got a 15. 15. Okay. He goes, <clears throat> I am withholding judgment. Excellent singing. But I want to hear from the naked wizard. The naked wizard. Oops, this way. Oh, it's my turn. All right. And I cast another minor minor illusion. And I say, okay. um, and I turn, I turn backwards to the audience and I say, I saw a song on your list, one named Bad by a famous other bard. <laughs> and all of a sudden I look just like Michael Jackson. Oh no. <laughs> and I perform Bad by Michael Jackson. And then I even do the, the, the lean thing that he would do. Are you gonna do the lean thing? The lean thing, I do the lean thing, I moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me your prank. Twenty. Twenty. Excellent. Okay. I am going to um Mr. Mr. Shadigos. Excellent singing. What is my reaction for twenty? A battle for the ages. Well done. He goes, I'm going to give you my song now. And he goes, always gonna give you up, always gonna <laughs> let you down, always gonna <laughs> run around and desert you. Always going to make you cry. Always going to say goodbye. Always going to tell a lie and hurt you. Uh, he goes, That's crazy. Excellent. He, he goes got like rolled. <laughs> he brings Chandelar back into the room, dripping wet and like with a giant headache. He says, Since you did so well, I will give you this long to answer questions. Where is the alligator? <laughs> to the north. How far to the north? A few miles. Who took it? Um, he went on his own. To Where's Lola Carly? On the back of everybody's neck. Lola Carly is there and here. On the back of everyone's neck is a parasite that is controlling them. Who put it there? Um, the Niyogi Masters. The who? Uh, What's a Niyogi? <laughs> I know. Bless She's you. Extra planar in, or invaders from space. Why would they oh. do that? Because Shandy knows what a Neogi so is. Don't waste your time asking about the Neogi. I know about that. Ask, ask more questions, Shandy. You do it. You know. Uh, you know uh, how, can we, how can we get there? Do you have a boat? Um, the way to get there will present itself to you after this. <laughs> would you like to go on tour with me? Is there, is there a commercial break? I go on tour. I am confined to the, to the kitchen. Why are you confined here? Because if I got out of here, it would be bad. That's not really an answer. Who confined you here? What would acid have to do with this process? What did who? Finding them. Acid. There's something that involves acid, isn't there? Yes. You'll want to take that when you're in the belly. In yeah. the belly of what? In the belly? Yes. Of what? knows what he means. In the He's belly like, of okay. the alligator. Wait, we have to go into the alligator? Wait, 
What? Eventually, yeah. <laughs> you must save the heart of the alligator. Oh, she's Louise. And then he goes back to his Mai Tai. I'm a little overwhelmed. Uh, Thank you, says Chandelier. Okay. And not. So we need to go up the river. Chandelier, could you tell us about these Nyogi? Elves have been fighting them in the stars for a long time. They're a, uh, they, they control people psychically, obviously through these parasites. Um, they're slavers. They are sort of arachnid types and, um, yeah, they're, they're dangerous. <laughs> what, would, what would happen if we tried to remove one of these um, things from somebody's neck? I don't know, and I don't dare try, she says. Oh, all right. Mm. Perhaps it's some well, sort of hive mind and we need to yeah. uh, remove the the leader or the brain. Yeah, the, the Niagi master. That's what uh, that's what he was talking about. They're the ones who control the hive minds mm. as far mm -hmm. as anybody knows. Uh, the, the Yoda master, right. All right. Um, to the boat, Bendram. then, shall we? Bendram puts his book away and takes out his pistol. He's no longer in uh, traveling mode. He is in soldier mode. Tourist mode. He's tourist mode. Off. <laughs> All right. Has everyone had the fill of the food? Would you like to take some with us? Yeah, we should. We don't know when we can. We'll no. come back. Chandelier starts packing everything that's on the table into <laughs> her bag. If they don't. <laughs> also, also that beer was delicious, wasn't it, Bendram? Would anyone else like one before we go? Mm. No. <laughs> uh, using his extra arms while still cleaning his pistol, he is, uh, you know, eating a, a piece of oxtail. And he's like, I mean, if it's Andy. <laughs> <laughs> that was not intentional. Whoops. Andy, you don't, we don't want to try one. It was, it was delicious. I'm sure I can get one from my friend at, over there. Nope. Nope. As when you're it, talking, a no answer. gecko with orange spots and immense eyes crawls down from the thatch roof and begins speaking to you. Uh, to me, I can hear it, but nobody else can. He starts speaking in common. He goes, Oh, I am Bumso Toko, and I am the spirit of the thatching in the roof. And I know that my friends are in trouble. They are fighting to save Kuya and Lola, but they're going to lose soon. He begins to concentrate. Is he pooping? <laughs> and then a giant bubble starts appearing behind him. He goes, Is that a poop We're bubble? Down. We need to leave. I can feel Kuya getting weaker. Lola gave me this bubble so we can get to them. We need to leave now. So you're telling us to get inside your poop bubble. Get in the bubble, yeah. I walk into the bubble. Yeah. Oh my god! All right. Um, with all the food, I'm the last one to go in. <laughs> Benjamin, are you going in? Yeah, yeah. He's 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 soldier mode now. These things don't matter. He's got a job to do. Okay. Nice. All, all right. Goodbye, everyone. Um, and I and I go. Uh, Grab him one, one moment. Him and I, I run up to my hat to, to, to make sure I take. Oh, the hat. wizard hat. Because <laughs> it was it was out there in, in the front of the stage. Where, did I get any tips? Um, there's like uh five copper pieces in it. Thank you, thank nice. you, everyone. Thank, thank you. <laughs> put the copper in my pocket. Put my hat back on. And jump into the bubble. And there's there's another of uh, and then there's another of Archie's keys are in there too. Oh, another. Set of keys. <laughs> Archie, yeah, I already yeah. have. Do you want me to share the other keys with somebody else? <laughs> Mom, we okay, don't have time for this. All right, see, fr friends. See you later, Archie. I'll see you later. Uh -uh. And then I jump in the bubble. Okay. Um. So, I uh, am asking if we can take a break, maybe five or ten minutes, so that we can do a bio and refill our drinks. Sounds good to me. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, okay. Uh, Got it. I'll have my ears in so I can hear you. Yeah, we'll be right back. All right. Uh, and the next, the next one is called "Enter the Alligator." Ooh, all right. I'm going to remove everyone from the stream so that we can take a little bit of a break here. I am. Here we go. Yeah. 
Here we are, and we're ready to go. Take it away, Katoy Boy. Okay, so you guys started out right about, uh, where's my hand going? There. Okay. <laughs> that is where Gold Arrow Station is, and that is where Lola's Comfy Kitchen is. It's right here on this part of the river. What's going to happen is you're going floating on a bubble up north until you wind up around here. You're coming in slowly. So uh, you have time to do any prep that you want. Do you have any preparation uh, or anything like that that you want to do? Any yeah, yeah, yeah. inspirations? Now would be the time. I have a uh, scroll of magic weapon, I think. Sure, that is correct. All I right. do. I want to use that. <clears throat> Duration? Uh, one hour. Okay. Believe. Let's uh, go ahead. You can go ahead and put that on there. Anyone else have anything else that they want to prep? As uh, Bunso Toko is just like he's he's sitting in the front. He's like steering the bubble, like with his hands, like this. Oh, he's coming with us. Yeah, <laughs> Bunso Toko is flying along with you. Bunso Toko has stats. I'm going to give you those stats. Actually, does it smell weird in the poop bubble? And um, no, it smells like uh, uh, I'm not going to breathe. Smells like palm fronds and thatching, oh. like a little musty, but it's like just kind of fresh because he is, Bumsotoko is the spirit of the roof of the kitchen. I compliment him. A nice uh, bubble you have here. <laughs> boom. Oh, thank you. Boom. Can I just call you Boom, Boomy? You can call me Bumso. Bo Bumso. Bumso. Cool. Um, Vendram is going to. Uh, use some of his infusions, I think they're called. Yeah. Um, so he's going to put a re repeating infusion onto his pistol, uh, which gives him a plus one to attack and bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, attack and um, hit. Um, damage, sorry. It's just for context, everyone. It's it's 5.30 mm -hmm. in the morning here in Australia. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> sometimes things respect. are firing slowly. Stuart's uh, on Australia time, so respect down there to him. Thank you. Yeah, if there's anyone in Australia watching, you, you're doing well. Um, <laughs> Your conscience. And he, also, just a question. is it Would this be a long rest or just a rest, do you think? A short rest? Um, Punsotoko says, it's like you're getting a full night of sleep, right? now <laughs> okay excellent <laughs> um so uh, yeah that's the, I, I dropped uh, the stats for yeah, yeah, in the in the um in our chat don't kill my gecko he only has 14 hit points <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <don't kill> <laughs> and he has no attacks either so that's fine just enjoy um, oh. Boon, so are you planning to go stay with us for this entire uh Searching of the alligator? Yes! Cool. Do you need to ride in Zenwin's pocket once we yeah. get out of the bubble? No. What I'll do is I'll just go ethereal and I'll disappear like this. <laughs> you, got a, you got kind <laughs> of a Mickey Mouse I'll be thing. Like going. This. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. a Mickey Mouse. Cool. All right. Thank you for this, says Chandelier respectfully um she's you know doing all the stuff right armoring up uh yep. magic arrows in the mm. quiver right um you know unpeace nodding her swords you know the whole bit right she says i don't know if you guys are aware but we're one dose short of this acid resistance potion she says oh there's only one dose including including our gecko friend or not <laughs> No, I'm not including our gecko friend. Four of us, three doses. Well, the robot Potion shall not pass my lips. The robot doesn't drink things anyway. That is correct. Thank you for respecting my traditions. Oh, you're welcome, Challenger. Anytime. <sighs> okay. I, honestly, I was going to suggest that he be one of the people who takes it because I can't carry him. Maybe one, you know, maybe he can carry one of us. He weighs more than we do. <laughs> My faith uh, shall protect me. The challenger doesn't seem up to it, but um, well, let's let, we'll we'll see once we get into the belly of this alligator if it even happens. You're just going to believe some shadowy guy and all the things he says. Yeah, 
Actually, I am. I mean, how does he know the future? Is he a fortune teller? I've worked with many. None of them are real, I assure you. I suspect he knows as much as he told us. You guys are just, you believe anything. I should be selling you things. She says, Mr. Mr. Shadow? Some kind of extra planar entity, obviously. Extra planar <clears throat> entities do things for their own reasons, trust me. Mr. Shadow <laughs> is really scary, but he never lies. Wow, all right. Huh. Well, good to know, she yeah. says. I'm, I'm, I'm always fooling people, so I'm very skeptical of everyone else. That's kind of... I, 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 That's I, fair. I, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Okay, so you're floating quickly in the bubble, which is also like you're getting a full night's rest, coincidentally. Um, <laughs> and you're going, you're going miles up the river in the on the Carolina Wastes. Um, you go behind a hill, and you find yourself at the edge of a debris field, hidden from the river by hills and the half-dead shrubberies of the wastes. Uh, what you know about the wastes is. <clears throat> The wastes are um, a wasteland. They're the remnants of the explosion that destroyed Karanal, that oh. made that hole in the ground. And um, nothing really grows there. Nothing really lives there. Scavengers, mostly in the form of bats, your random dinosaur show up there. Um, and uh, so Do we hop out of the bubble here? Uh, I will tell you what's going on. Um, so as you're floating in, you see a great ruined skyship, maybe a starship, that resembles a spider. It's uh, broken, rent into pieces. As uh, Bumso Tuko says, this is as far as the magic will take you. And he lands you <laughs> down in front, of, in front of this wasteland. And you see across the wasteland that there are bloated corpses of beings resembling uh, an un unnatural mix of wolf spiders and moray eels all torn to pieces all over the ground. Uh, they have the their war beasts, dead war beasts, scattered all around them. Umber hulks, gray renders. <clears throat> and they're also torn, piece, torn to pieces all over the place. Uh, at the far end of this battlefield, you see the immense form of Kuya Buwaya in his full kaiju form. We found him. And obviously nothing else suspicious is going on at all. And Kuyabuaya is motionless, as large as the hills around him. Ooh. And he's groaning. His belly is bloated. And it looks like there it's just like rippling with stuff inside of it. Um, his eyes are red and watery. And as if sensing your arrival, he opens his mouth wide. And clear blue light starts streaming out of his mouth and from his eyes. This is completely normal, isn't it? He always looks like this, right? No. Does he always look like this? I don't know. Is our gecko friend with us? Yes. Bunsotuko uh, just pops this out. Goes, uh, no, he doesn't look like this. Normally he looks like a gator. And then <laughs> <laughs> you see, Thank you. Um, you look down into his maw and you see the fleshy reality of his teeth and his tongue, but beginning to merge into the unreality of the spirit realm as the power of the river flows through him. But you see that the power of the river has dark shadows swimming in it. Mm, I then, think he might have eaten something bad. Mm. So quickly. they, Mr. Shadow said we should go in there. Um, would there be anything to gain from investigating the uh, bodies on the ground? Uh, you can if you want. Yeah, maybe. Let's look. She's Are these so the Nayogi you speak of? There's a 21 uh, investigation looking at, in particular, the the, the, the unfamiliar uh, dead bodies. So the, the eel things and the spider things. So the eel and spider things are together. Chandelar yeah. knows what these are from her experience, and she can explain. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, they're they're Niagi. They're they're uh, like spider centaur kind of things with an eel bit on the top instead of a human bit, more or less. Oh. Yeah. Is this why you don't like seafood? Yeah, one of the reasons she says. Yeah. There's a few. She says, looking a thousand yard stare for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that makes sense. Um, yeah. I'm going to go poke some her. of the not gross things. Okay. So um, I rolled a 19. 
Investigation. Ooh. Ooh, investigation. Okay. So you're, it's just like all wreckage. There's just like everything has been destroyed. Um, you see like great, huge umber hulks, but they've just been all been torn to pieces. Some of them look like they've been like hit by fire. Some have been blasted by radiant magic. Some are like, um, and they're all, and it's like <clears throat> everything's dead as you're going through it. And there's nothing of value left in amongst the corpses. Like all of their tech has been destroyed. Looks like a lot of it was swallowed. Mm -hmm. Do you think they were fighting the alligator? Yeah. I suspect. Okay. Bunso to goes. Um, quickly! We must go inside! Destroy the parasites! They feed on his power! They're becoming him! Mm. Oh, that doesn't so sound good now, does it? The great alligator has gorged himself upon evil and it is destroying him from the inside. This is why you should not. Uh, Shandy, eat. maybe Shut pass up. the. Uh... She's just a challenger. <laughs> Shut up, the <a> challenger, <laughs> Tony. Uh, thank you, challenger. Shandy, can you pass those um, potions around? So, um, I guess we become up. the laxatives. Yeah. <laughs> we. Oh, that's one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Did you just say you're about to become the laxatives? <laughs> Where that's the laxatives what he said. Now? Yeah, That's we never did right. name our adventuring party. Maybe we should <laughs> go by the name the laxatives. To, to, oh, to be no, honest, if no, you didn't no. know what a laxative was, the laxatives is a pretty badass name. That's uh, a pretty good name. I mean, it's basically what context. we do. Well, definitely we're the we're the shit, right? <laughs> well, we can't be both the laxative and the shit. Well, <laughs> we start having a philosophical discussion about this. <laughs> I, I was going to propose the dewormers, but I think I like the laxatives better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, laxatives, down with the potions. Yep. Okay, so those last so for an hour. I believe your magic uh, weapon lasts for an hour. If I yeah, remember. magic weapons, concentration okay. lasts for an hour. hour. Okay, so you've drunk those. Um, uh, what did you guys have? Okay, you have speak with animals and you have forearms. So you get a bonus yep. action at disadvantage. You get an extra bonus action at disadvantage. Okay, question um, I, on that. Uh, go yep. ahead. I've got a question I can, to you. With my Eldritch Cannon, that's a bonus action to yep. shoot it. Can I shoot my Eldritch Cannon twice but once with disadvantage? I'm going to let you, yes, because your extra arms are extra dexterous. Fantastic. <laughs> it's amazing. We're, gonna, we're just going to roll with that. Some house rules here for you. Okay, um, friends. Uh, one thing I didn't reveal to all of you was after I had that um, very delicious beer, all of a sudden I could start hearing the thoughts or speaking of animals. Something is going on. Should I try and speak with our alligator friend? Uh, is he an animal? Can't hurt. You may try. Um, uh, alligator friend, and I, I walk up very timidly <clears throat> to like the eye. <laughs> to try to look in the, in the eye, but the eye is very big. You know, I kind of walk around the snout, and I go, <laughs> "Hello there." Ah, um, uh, I'm gonna throw up. Can you get in there, please? Okay. Oh, he, he seems he seems to be saying that we better right. get in now before he throws up everything in his stomach. It, um, it hurts. All My right. Heart hurts. Oh, he's in a lot of pain. Uh, shall we go yeah. in, friends? Yeah, let's go. Who's it going first? I vote, I vote the on the robot. To willingly be gorged. But to free someone from the impurities that they are gorged upon that they have gorged upon must be the noblest quest of my people. Great idea. I will go first. Tell us yes. about it while you walk in. Jesus. Wonderful. <laughs> As you're going in, um, you enter Kuyabuaya's mouth, and reality starts settling around you. Like there's a bit of a like just a you're, you're walking through waves of reality and then it settles into you're walking to a cave full of knee deep water with lily pads on it pale blue light dimly lights the area like you're underwater and Kuya's gullet is in the back leading down to a glowing green chamber and as you're walking the murky water is rippling with strange shapes that sense your presence and start swimming towards you give me some perception checks and uh, we might be entering the fun stuff. 
Natural 20. I rolled a one. So I wow. <laughs> I wow. am too busy looking at like the green light or something. Shandy, this place, this on. reminds me of your place. <laughs> what? <laughs> your home is decorated. I mean, the lily pads, the um the know, it's just giving me a it's giving a, me a vibe. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've been back there, she says. Yeah, she's probably lost in nostalgia or something, which is why she isn't noticing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. So um hold on. I'm trying to get the right one loaded up. Load up. Here it is. There it is. Okay. So um, you, I'm just checking some stuff here. Okay. So you definitely see things swimming towards you. Um, Shandy sees nothing. Uh, Bendrum sees nothing. The naked wizard, oddly, sees oddly. that there is um, behind the quote unquote epiglottis at the back of the dinosaur, there's something hiding. Yes, there's something like there's something like hiding back there behind the epiglottis. He's like, there's something there. There's um there's like two little things floating around in the air, and the, you see like some little baby neogies swimming towards you in the water. Um, yeah. But then uh, on top of all of that, there's a Deinonychus charging you. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. The dinosaur? Yeah, the dinosaur. <laughs> um, I speak to the dinosaur and go, whoa there, friend. Hold on. We okay. mean you no, no harm. So what's going to happen is, hold on, I need to edit this real quick. One. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Uh, and I look at everyone else and go, ready your weapons in case this doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Challenger holds up his arm, it peels back, and ka-ching, his arm blade comes out. Go. Yeah, I've got my I've got my hand at my rapier just in case. Yeah, I uh, I make a handheld Eldridge cannon that uh, is force. I think. Yeah, a force ballista. <laughs> Artifices are cool. Uh, there we go. Okay, everyone, roll initiative for me while I'm setting this up. Oh, talking is not going to work, huh? No. 19. Wait, yeah, 19. 15. Okay. A two. Yeah. Challenge is um, not the swiftest of things. As you're, as you're trying to talk to this guy, this uh, Deinonychus, um, you can tell that he's like... He is like he's running in. He's kind of like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing this. I want to eat you. I want to eat you anyway, but I really want to eat you for some reason. <laughs> he seems very hungry. <laughs> Pre prepare yourselves. Okay, challenger, what'd you get? Two. Initiative. Two. Two. Bendrum, oh. what'd you get? Uh fifteen. Fifteen? Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, fifteen. Candelar? Also fifteen. Okay. Fifteen and the naked wizard. I got 19. You're, you're rolling like a boss today. That's good. Okay. We are starting the combat. Yeah. Um, all my good rolls are going to be at the beginning, and then at the end, they're just going to get worse. So <laughs> there's a boss fight coming. Okay. So here we go. So the Deinonychus goes first. He is roaring in. Um, what is your order, by the way? Uh, Challenger will be up front with his shield and his armor. And hopefully he's not dying. Okay. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm the ranged fighter. I'm sure I'm not in front, but I don't know if I'm in back, you know? You got Challenger in back. Uh, Where's Bendrum? Is Bendrum behind Challenger? Like between Yeah, Bendrum's also shielded and armored quite well. So he's 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 uh, like a long range tank, I guess. So he right. would be behind <laughs> uh, Challenger. Okay, so Challenger, and then we got the Naked Wizard. I'm probably third and then Chandelars. And then we've got Shandy over here. We've got the Dynamicus. We got a hatchling. We got a hatchling. And then we got two. There are two floating things. 
And then there's a thing behind the epiglottis. Two okay. floating things and a hidden thing. Okay. Can I, can I use a free action? I'm probably first in line, right? First. To, uh, you are yeah. after the Dinonicus, yes. After the Dinonicus. Okay, so I guess I'll wait. Okay. okay. All right, so Dino is running in. He is pouncing, and he's going to make a claw attack. Uh, is a 19 going to hit? Against who? Challenger? Oh, no, no, my AC is a 20. 20, okay. Yes. And then he oh, okay. is going to claw again. 21! That's a hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, you take six slashing damage there. Okay. Uh, you need to make a DC 12 strength check or go prone into the water. Okay. Oh. That was a 21. 21. Okay. You're taking a bite. And I'll and take my eight. concentration holds. Okay. Oh. 18 misses you. Mm -hmm. And that is a Didonicus. The Didonicus says, um, you can hear the Didonicus say, um, there's no meat here. No meat. Where's the meat? <laughs> Where's the meat? And uh, it's like well, really only cool. only the naked wizard can hear that, right? Yeah. Only only Tom the or only the naked wizard can hear him, and he's going. I'd much rather be out out there, not in here, inside of this alligator. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Tom the naked wizard, your turn. Um, I'm going to use my free action to yell behind the epiglottis and go, "You behind there? We see you. Who are you?" Oh. Um. Let me see. Let me see this guy. Because I perceive him. He goes, um. Thank you for letting me know his error. He goes, <laughs> me he with goes, arrows. You hear in your mind, I am the coming end of your kind. Uh, it seems like he's a bad guy back there. <laughs> gotcha. Says so Chandelar calmly. <laughs> yeah. Maybe target the one hiding behind the epiglottis. Gotcha, she says. Um, I then I then I use my um my I cast a fairy fire. Okay. Uh, how far away is everything from each other? Let's call this. Hold on a second. Eek. Okay. Uh, this is a twenty feet foot wide, fifty foot long room, so it's fifty mm -hmm. feet away from you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if I were to if I were to see fairy fairy fire has a twenty foot uh cube radius yep. <clears throat> whatever you want to call that um yep. if i were to target the thing behind the epiglottis mm -hmm. would i could i also fit into that some of the yep. other creatures I'll, I'll let you get the balloons and the balloons. dudes behind in the back okay uh, so it's like oh, those the floaty things yeah the floaty things okay okay and and um chandelier is going that's a neogi that's a neogi back there uh-huh so I've now outlined those those three things, including the one hiding behind the epiglottis, right. uh, yeah, with like a blue light, yeah. two little so, blue. Yeah. So uh, so they all they are lit, and then um, you guys uh, we have an advantage if you can see it when you okay. attack any of these. Anything else nice. on your turn? Uh, I'm just making sure I'm behind the two people in front of me, and I'm okay. just kind of standing back. Okay, fair. And your turn? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, here we go. So there is one of those balloons um, shoots a kaleidoscope of light. Ah. Uh, wait, first it floats forward 20 feet. It is glowing from the fairy fire. And it is going to, how smart are these things? They are not super smart. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 1d4. I just got real dice here. I'm going to roll that. 1, 2. He's going at the naked wizard. Uh, you need a DC 12 wisdom save. Um. Oh, boy. I'm not wise. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> no kidding. <laughs> oh, three. Oh, okay, no. The uh, kaleidoscope of light hits you right in your face. You take six psychic damage. Oh, no. Ooh. Right. It's Ouch! Concentration. The other goon balloon. Yeah, you need to concentrate, save if you have anything. Other goon balloon floats forward 20 feet. He is also not too smart. He is going to target one, two, the naked wizard. You're the winner oh. again. Oh, no. 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 I'm another, just rolling randomly for 20. Another wisdom check? Yeah. DC 12. 
Uh, nine. Nine. Oh. You take six psychic damage. Ouch. To your My face. brain hurts. Your brain. <laughs> oh. You're just like, oh no, I feel like I want to put on clothes. Kill that thing. <laughs> okay, uh, it is Bendrum's turn. There were two of them, right? That did that. Correct. Uh, so there's uh, there's only two balloons. Two balloons, and they're both lit up. So you have and advantage both, if, yeah. if you try to attack them. All right, cool. I'm going to. Is there room for me to like step out behind Challenger and? Oh yeah. Shoot? It's it's a yeah. wide room. It's like twenty foot wide. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of go wide then. I'm probably gonna go about fifteen feet uh, to the left. Uh, yep. I'm gonna start by shooting my pistol at a thing that I miss, which is X. Oh well, I got an eight for the roll, balloon. Did you roll twice? Did you try to shoot? You got advantage. Oh, I got advantage. advantage. Sorry. Yeah, against the balloon. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I got a twenty-three to hit nice. the, uh, one of the balloons. Okay. How much damage? <laughs> Uh, three damage. Oh, yeah, three damage. No, it should be four damage because I have a plus one to that from my okay. Um, um my shot. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so you rolled real crappy. It is blooded, so you know. Oh, um, okay. Yep. All right. I'm gonna then use a bonus action to shoot a force ballista at one of them. Okay. Um, the other one or the same one? Uh, the other one, I think. Okay. We're early stages. They are super right. easy to hit. You feel like you're just, it's just taking a pot shot. Also, you've got a uh, advantage on the shot. Uh, okay. Sorry. I, I don't know how to roll them. So I'm just going to do a D20 plus if you, five, which is 20. Nice. There's a natural 20 on the force ballista. Oh, that's a, that's a crit? It's a crit. Yeah. Crit. Yeah, force okay. ballista is. Roll your damage. So that means 4d8. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> if you, shift, you can get, um, I believe you can uh, get advantage or disadvantage. Press shift and then click your danger roll. <laughs> Is that what you got? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I wonder what it would do. So that's nine. Um, that's fine. Uh, that, that actually just pops it. It explodes. Oh, nice. It seems like they have like eight health. Yeah, yeah, they're super, they're super, they're super easy. It pops. Um, I mean, I and think then it... you see like just um, just this big explosion of gas comes out of it, uh, and okay. it's like coming from uh, Chandelar can tell she can smell it. That's poison. Poison, oh, she says. Oh. Okay, that might change his thinking. I wasn't going to use the extra bonus action to shoot the Eldritch. We don't want them again, close. But I think don't I let them get close to me. I'm already wounded. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll make another uh, d20 roll for the extra bonus action. Okay. And that is a 7 plus 5, which is a 12. 12. Is that enough to hit? Yep. Nice. Oh, cool. Yes. Roll, roll your damage. Don't roll a 1. <laughs> no, that's better. 14. Oof. Oh, my God. Where was that earlier? Yeah. Uh, okay, it, you brought that here. And it, it explodes into a big 10 foot wide sphere of poisonous gas that like goes down into the water and dissipates. So anyone that happens to be looking at Bendrum sees him sort of smile and look around at everyone like, yeah, I can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, is there anything else on your turn? Uh, no, no, no. I might just step forward a little bit. So I'm now sort of almost in line with Challenger. Okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah, yes, stand next to me. Stand next to me. That's good. Actually, I, I can, can protect you with my shield. I can, I've got enough movement to get next to you again. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> the Miyogi sees you pop the two balloons. It, um, what do I want to do here? And it is very impressed with you. So it, it like crawls on the roof of the mouth of Kuyabuaya. And then it goes, Dwarf, you are mine. And then is, it is... Is that guy lit up too from my fairy fire? Yes, he is. Yeah, you That's got him. Guy. Yeah. Okay. He's lit up. So he goes, one such as you will be of much use for me. And then you need to make a DC 14 wisdom save. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a charm effect, by the way. I have a thing. 
or shake his method. Bendrum has to do this. Bendrum. Yeah. Yes, Bendrum oh, was so yeah. impressive. Uh, yes. Wisdom save, did you say? Correct. Mm -hmm. No, there's an eight. There's an eight. So you are charmed by this Niyogi for a day. For a day. A day. Amazing. Correct. Okay. Charmed. So it goes, you are my friend. You shall do what I want you to do. Don't listen, says Chandler. Can, can they can they tell cool. what he's saying, or can only I tell it? Um, it, it he's just broadcasting. He's just kind of he okay. doesn't care. He's like okay. broadcasting it out to everybody. <clears throat> Andy, shoot friend. it, shoot it down. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay. Um. So, uh, I get an action and a bonus action, right? Okay. And a bonus mark thing. So obviously, Niyagi's my target, right? Um. Yeah. And you have advantage. I and have you advantage. have advantage from the fairy fire, yeah. And I have a magic arrow, and what else have I got here? There is something, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, aberrations are my, you know. Correct. Favorite enemy. The thing I, I want to destroy. So <laughs> what am I, what am I, uh, I don't Let's know how to add. What, your all bonus action, you use your bonus action to put your hunter's mark on it. You bet I do. And then uh, you can do the... A planar warrior damage to it, an extra d8, but you have to use your bonus action again. So you don't have one yet. Right. Next, so next first, round. You're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For next round, if it's still up, which it might be. So you've got a normal attack now with your with long advantage. Add advantage. And okay. you add your hunter's mark damage to that, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, you guys going to have to walk me through, but what the hell I will. Yeah. So on your, on. for your longbow, you want to right yeah. click. Hit, yeah. click advantage, and then just hit roll. And if you're yeah. using a, a magic arrow, remember to add a plus one to it. Sure. Okay. There it is. So... 19. And 19, then you should be able so to click the damage right there. The damage right there. Okay. Right mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. What, I don't know what no I'm problem. doing here. It should be right next to all... To the, oh, the damage right. on, the, on the sheet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah oh, man, really? Okay, and then you sh there's a in the bottom left hand corner there's a little dice circle. If you click that, you should be able to click. The, is it a D eight for Hunter's Mark or is it a D six? Yeah, there's a little D six button. You can just click that. All right. Oops. Well, I clicked it. Didn't work, did it? Or did it? Oh yeah, there's a you have to click the little the roll button at the bottom. Yep. Oh. Okay, I see. So seven uh, yeah. total? Uh, well, she used the magic arrow, so actually it should be one more than that. Yeah, so eight, eight right? Total. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really crappy roll for damage, eh? But it is, yeah. it is it hurts. hurts. Because it goes, um, Servant, that one is not your friend. Get that one. Uh-oh. Do mm. you have okay. a move? Or I think that's it. So... Now what's going to happen is uh, anything else on Channel R? I don't think I have any other actions. Okay. So, so yeah. well, one of the hatchlings is going to go right up to Challenger and give him a chomp. Okay. Uh, six misses you. And then oh, yeah. the next one is also going to come up and give you a chomp. And the 13 misses you. Challenger, your turn. You've got yeah. two hatchlings on you, and you've got a Neogi on the ceiling that's in control of Bendrum. I will not be gorged by you. Um, I'm not really good at range, so I'm just going to hack at the things in front of me. Um, I have a dinosaur and two Neogi on me. Yes, you've got a dino. Oh, sorry. You've got a Dinonychus right on top of you. Yeah, I think the dinosaur is the biggest threat. So okay. I'm going to attack him uh, first. And I will just. I want that arm blade or try to at least. 16. 16 is a hit. What's your damage? Uh, looks like an 8. 8. Okay, so we're going to do 8 to the Deinonychus. And then the Deinonychus is going to go, uh, and it is going to roll a wisdom save. 16. It goes, uh, and then you hear it go, oh, God, that sucked. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. And then he starts like 
trying to, and he's like, I just got to get this, get away from this, uh, this metal man. Do you have any more actions or are you going to do anything? Um, I Listen, will. Naked Wizard is hearing that. Um, if I move away, they're going to make, they're going to be able to make a text opportunity against me. Right. So I'm just gonna, I wish I could put myself between, uh, Chandelar and, uh, Vendrum, but if I can't move without, uh, being in danger, I'm just going to stay still. Okay. And it seems like they're attacking me anyway. So I might as well hold the line. They were. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, do you it is now the Deinonychus's turn he is going to run past you past challenger are you going to he's and he's going to go between the naked wizard and chandelar on his way out uh, uh I, I will not. Not. he's leaving yeah he's gtfoing it seems it seems I like uh, let him go man <laughs> it seems like his like the I'm guessing he was like mind controlled or something, and he he, he broke yeah. it. Yeah, that seems okay. Like it. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm let him go. Okay. Let the dino go. He was the scariest thing, anyway. So if he wants to leave, so he is between he his movement takes him between Naked Wizard and Chandelar, and then now he's outside of the mouth, uh, and entering back into normal reality. He's gone. Tom the Naked Wizard, what are you doing? Um, the thing on the ceiling. What exactly is it? It's a Neogi. It is a spider centaur with a, instead of a, it's got a moray eel coming out the front. Okay. It's, it's intelligent though, right? Yes. It is a thing that's speaking in your mind. Right. Okay. So I'm going to cast Hideous Laughter on it. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Good choice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, try, and, try and get it fall off the ceiling and also make it not. Nice move. Maybe less aware of what it's controlling Bendrum to do. Okay. Dun, dun, so just read, read that out to me. So, um, so a creature of choice that you can see within range perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into fits of laughter oh if the spell affects it. The target okay. must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or fall prone because incapacitated and unable to stand up for the becoming incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. The creature with intelligence score four or less is unaffected. At the end of each of the turns and each time it takes damage, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. Target has advantage on the saving throw if it's triggered by damage. On a success, the spell ends. What's the uh, DC on that? Uh, 13. 13. Okay. He has advantage on that roll. Uh, it's a nine. I failed. All right. Yes. So he goes. Does he fall off the ceiling? He falls off the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. the yes. Um, Get down here. Do I lose concentration? Does the spell say that? Uh, I see. if you take damage, you need a roll to maintain yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, he might have taken fall damage. Uh, yeah. the time must oh, drops. I'm about to give him some fall damage. He comes incapacitated water. and un well, it can't move, but I don't know if it is affected in any other way. Does incapacitated mean you can concentrate? It takes eight damage. Check from that. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a concentration check. We'll just roll it. Oh, that's a 21. Yeah. Okay. He still, still has play. control of Bendrum. Uh, I tried, friends. So I have Take a question here, it. if I might. Right? Yep. Um, okay, so he acted. He controlled mm -hmm. Bendrum. Yep. And then he gave him another command. Is he allowed to do that? Or does that not take effect until his action in the next oh. round? Oh. That is a good... That is a good. Yeah, you're right. He's he's just saying it. So we'll let Bendrum. Uh, chat says incapacitated. You cannot concentrate. Oh, incapacitated. You cannot concentrate. Oh, concentration breaks. Boom. Bendrum is back up. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. I'll take it. Well done. Well done. Thank you, chat. Thank, Thank you, chat. You, chat. My, Bendrum, my pistol. Yeah, we love you. Fla flailing in the water, <laughs> laughing hilariously, going, <laughs> We're going to take over all of you. <laughs> You're all going to be our slaves. <laughs> oh, the things we want to do. <laughs> Epic. Epic. I think I hate him worse now. 
Yeah, he sounds like he literally sounds like Mickey Mouse and and Disney's <laughs> Kill the Mouse. <laughs> yeah. the entertainment industry. I, I think I'm making my blue flip to co voice. <laughs> kill it, kill it with fire. All right, well, I'm done my turn. I don't need to move anywhere. I'm just okay. staying back here. Bendrum. Nice. Bendrum, Pendrum's pistol and Eldritch cannon are both pointed at Chandelar. And just before he pulls the trigger, he shakes his head oh, that's nice. and realizes what has <laughs> oh, yeah. been done to him. <laughs> Turns around. Benjamin, over here. That, over that way. Not her. Um, is incapacitated. So that means, would the, would the spider be, would the... Uh, you would have the, advantage on the attack. It's prone. I, like, so he has double prone advantage. anyways. So you have and advantage. And you have auto crit. Right? Oh. Yeah, it's auto crit. Uh, uh, no, that's right. that's restrained, not incapacitated. Oh, restrained. It's not restrained. He's not restrained, so it's so it'll be, just still be a normal hit. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. I'm gonna shoot it then. You should still have advantage though, because of the you fairy fire, I think. Yeah, he incapacitated means yeah, you can't still have move, advantage. So at the very least, he doesn't get his decks to dodge, right? He's not dodging anything. No, that's a, that's a different condition. That's restrained. Restrained is like you can't, it's like paralyzed. Well, you can't move. So, I, so I do yeah, have, you have incapacitated. advantage. Incapacitated. You, you still have advantage because he's glowing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what, what you you it means you can't act. The oh first one was God. a six. The second one was a twenty-three. Yeah, that was what? your advantage roll. Okay, got it. Uh, and that's a seven to hit. Uh, sorry, a seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I will shoot Here's an Eldridge cannon at super them. Uh... Oh! Oh! oh no! So what I do for uh, failures is critical failures. Yeah, but he has a, his advantage. advantage. He has advantage. You get to roll you again. Advantage. You keep using oh, advantage, yeah. guys. Keep oh, going. Yeah. Oh, again. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you my disadvantage roll then. Oh. There we go. Much better. 19. 19. 19. That did look like it was about to be a uh, <laughs> another one. But anyway. Um, <laughs> We have to we have to call out the rolls because they can't see the rolls. So yeah, nineteen. Uh, okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that is a ten points of force ten damage. Ten points of damage. Pushed five so feet away. How, how do you kill it? Describe to me your kill shot. Yes. Oh, cool. So as the uh, uh, the hand cannon uh, shoots its uh, eldritch mm -hmm. force, I guess it kind of looks like a, an eldritch blast. Um, mm -hmm. It explodes. It sort of hits its chest and pushes it five feet but it also like pushes straight through it and you just see this what color is the insides of this thing oh green uh, yellow <laughs> green and yellow just splatters uh behind it okay so you hear that feels goes, fitting oh so it's going ha 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 i'm gonna eat we're gonna eat all of you ha ha Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, good job uh, guys Bendrum. all right it's sheepishly turns to Chandelier and says, "I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> no worries. There are still opponents on the shoulder. You're welcome, oh, everyone. Are oh, they on you? Yeah. Aren't they? You're, you're welcome. <laughs> there's we're there's the. <laughs> we're I said thank you. We, we, we still, we still have she issues. Said... <laughs> <laughs> are these other things being controlled by it? Challenger, is this a dance of your yeah. order? <laughs> No, there's still two neo little baby neogis attacking us. Oh, the two little oh. baby neogis, I forgot. The two little baby neogis. Yeah, you're all like congratulating each other. Right, 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 right. Fighting for my life. Cool. I, I, I totally forgot about the two little baby Oh, neogis. damn. Pew. So, so, so the two little baby neogis have like six hit points each. Pop, pop. You just, you just like. Oh, okay, okay. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Because they're, they're, they have a poison bite, but freaking Challenger is immune to poison. Where is this gonna go? I only ha I have advantage against poison. I'm not immune. You can't be poisoned, can you? Yeah, yeah. I, I only have advantage against. Oh, poison. advantage! You have resistance to poison. Got it. Yep, yep. I can be poisoned, but it's just not. It's not very good against. That's me. fine. You you've taken out the the bosses in the fight anyway. We will move on. So there is a green glowing gullet, like going like a water slide down into the stomach. Is what you can see. You can smell like a uh, um, wreckage coming from down in there, 
you could smell like stuff that has been chomped up and chewed. Mm. And uh, what do you do? <laughs> I, I challenge your ops not to smell. <laughs> yeah. Mark, nose. I had that option. I would too. <laughs> um, yeah, I tie like something around my face, you know, like. Uh. Well, friends, okay. it looks like we need to go down the gullet. Yeah. Um, we, uh, Challenger will heal the naked wizard for. Uh, how how hurt were you? I'm twelve hit points down. I'll give you 10. How's how's that? How's 10 hit points? That's very, very helpful. Thank you. I'll lay on hands. Yeah. Here, wait, before we go, uh, I'm going to take my potions of healing. I think I bought four. I'm going to make sure we all have one. Thank you, um, Shandy. I also didn't know this. I did know this, but I forgot. You may keep mine. Cure wounds, so I can also uh, heal when we need to. Okay. So I will, I will gladly accept that healing. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. She says, "I do it for somebody I like too." No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, then I guess um, Challenger will will go down the water slide. <laughs> I, uh, I say we all go. We don't want to be divided. It looks like you can't climb back up very easily. Yep, never divide we, the party. On the count of five, I mean three. Two. Two. One. All right, we all jump in. All right. You all slide down. Okay, so um, you're sliding down the gullet, and you come down. It's, it's, like a, it's like a water slide, and you're sliding down into there, and you come into a great open chamber um, uh, that smells like um, just a, just a acidic swamp. And it's like just really moist in here. It's dimly lit. Um, There is uh, just like, you can see that around the edge of the, of the stomach, there's like a, there's like a fleshy walkway. And in the middle is a pool of blue green acid filled with wreckage and the physical and super supernatural contents of Kuya's belly Um, directly across the stairway. You see three passages. Uh, I'm sorry. Across the pool, you see a stairway, three sets of stairways carved from bone, leading up to chambers of, uh, that are glowing with red light. Three At the separate same time, chambers. Yep. Three separate see, stairways. Three separate chambers. Yep. So we've got you guys came down the gullet. There is a big pool on the other side. There are three stairways going up, but between you and the stairways is a giant pool of acid mm-hmm. and rippling in the liquid and you are not alone in here not alone do, do we do we have to go through the the pool you said there was there a walkway like around the edges you can walk around it if okay. you're not alone so if somebody else is in here you see something else in the, you feel chandelier give, give me a perception check you can all give me a perception yeah. check. 60 feet long 40 feet wide 20 foot tall and there's a pool of acid in the middle five you can't tell how deep that is I can't tell how deep anything is. Can anyone else see in here? Twenty-one on my perception check. Nice. Okay. Uh, is is it dark? I don't have dark vision. Is it dark enough that it is enough in here? Lit. Okay. Uh, um. Anybody have a way to light me up? Yeah. 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 I have okay. a. Um, I can. Do you have a small object? I can imbue it with. Uh, I got a shield right here. To, yeah, I can give you uh, a shiny shield. Yeah, it's not huge. It's only five feet light radius, so it's just around you. Okay. Well, at least then I can see whatever whatever I'm trying to hit. Yeah. So okay, I'll cool. take it. Yep. Because I don't want to put down my shield for a lantern. That's for sure. Hmm. So what you want to, um, so you see some light coming in. Uh, let me see. How much does the light uh, cover? Is it 30 feet? No, uh, it's just five feet. It's just a little, little light so he can see in front of him. Okay, got it. Let me see. The elf and the Aladrin can see that there is, based on the perception check, uh, where are we? 
oh, I know what I'm doing wrong, sorry. Um, that there is. Oh, I can see. I could, I got dark vision too, sorry. Oh, good. Yeah, you're a dwarf. Mm. Um, that there are two things swimming in the water or in the water, in the acid. Mm -hmm. And there are things floating on the, near the ceiling. Mm. Three little orbs floating near the ceiling. Are these similar to oh, the orbs we just Like saw? the balloons we, we popped before? Sorry, Sam again? Different. They're like little orbs, like yay okay. big, with little mm. sprouty things coming off the top of their heads. Oh, no. We... Seriously? Is that what I think it is? Really? <laughs> have have these things big. noticed us? I mean, we just cast light on a shield. Bunch of oh, yeah. eyes. I'm, I'm, about to, I'm, about, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to roll initiative, yes. There okay. You so yeah. we're of the opinion the that we're kill these things. <laughs> um, I say to Challenger, I'm like, mm -hmm. ch stay next to me. I'll lure them by shooting them, and then you can hit them when they get close. Agreed. Let me fix this real quick. Swords out, boards out. Let's go. Sun's up, buns up. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we rolling the shit here? Is that what we're doing? That's what I'm oh. doing. Because I'm, I'm assuming it's happening, but it's yeah. I got a six. Challenger's just the slowest. I got a the slowest eight. marble on the course. Okay, we're running this. So, Challenger, what'd you get? One. One. <laughs> Bendrum. One. One initiative. Uh, Thirteen. Wow. 13. Respectable, Challenger. You suck, Chandelar. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Also respectable, the Naked Wizard. Six. Six. It's better than a one. All right. Uh, six what times. You'd be trying to make out a lot of metal. See how fast you move. Okay. Are you still in the same order going in that you were before? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm a Ben. I'd like to stick to the walkway. Um, but I'll yeah. I'll gonna stand right next to Bendrum. Um, so if anything comes near comes near him, I can give him the chop. Okay, give them the chat. A little map laid out. And we are starting with a little dude with one central eye, little mouth, a uh -huh. bunch of things coming off his head. <clears throat> but he's little. He's like this big. And he's little. Okay, he's little. that's he's a big. little bit better. Yep. It's he crawling out of the here. pool. Oh, this is a floaty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a yep. floaty one. So, uh, Beholder kin, I say. Yep. These, oh. these guys are going first. So I don't like this at all. there's one, two, three, four. I am rolling the dice to target. These are not smart, so they're just going with what's in front of them. Three. One, two, three. Chandelar. Yep. Okay. Um. And then I'm gonna roll this. And that. Okay. So you are need to make a DC 12 wisdom save okay. or be frightened. It's a little, it's like it shoots a little beam from his head. Pew! A very scary beam. Hits you with okay. a fear effect. I, sorry, I find that weird on the sheet here. Yeah. So Is, go oh, up, just at uh, my stats there? Yeah, yeah, the button next to your stat. Click on your wisdom. Okay. Saving throw a DC 12. 16. Ooh, nice. You are not afraid. However, uh -oh. her, you need to make a DC 12 deck save as well. Okay, I'm sorry. You got as cut a, off a bit there. DC 12 so deck DC save. DC 12 deck DC save. DC 12 deck save, okay. As the cold beam comes out and slaps you. Shank. 13. 13, no damage. All right, next. Uh, Shank would be dodging uh, lasers like a... 1d4. The Matrix. One. Oh, God. Two is the Naked Wizard again. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I am rolling. You need a DC 12 Wisdom save or be charmed by the Gazer. Oh, there we go. 13. 
Okay, it does not harm you. Even with a negative And then, oh god, here we go. Now you need to make a DC 12 strength saving throw. Great. Oh, (laughs) what? The dice got stuck in the corner of the window. (laughs) But it's a one. He grabs you with his telekinetic ray and pulls you into the acid pool. (gasps) No! Ah! Help! And as you're pulled into the acid pool, you see one of the things start swimming towards you. One this is the... no good. <laughs> this is no good. It's bad. <laughs> Disgusting in here. Bad. How uh, how like how far away is the pool? I'm not I'm too early. I'll ask on my turn. You're in front, yeah. All right, and you take seven damage acid. Oh Even well, he like, drank the oh, acid potion, right? Potion. Potion. Drink the potion, then it's three. Three, three damage? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Got it. I don't like this. Okay. Next one. I am going to roll D6 because someone's already in the acid. Where's my D6? Oh, there it is. Okay. So one, two, one, two, three. Here we go. Challenger! You were the target of the last gazer. These are gazers. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a frost raid. DC 12 dex or 10 cold damage? Uh, yeah, not so much. That's a one. Ooh, 10 oh. cold damage. 10? 10. Oh, gosh. He's freezing yeah. his hearts off. Yeah, I'm, I'm blooded. Yeah, or again? Whatever blood it is for a robot. The Old. telekinetic ray? DC 12 strength check. You got this. You got this. Bring it. 14. All right, yes. you are not pulled into the water. Or okay, good, good. Acid. It's it like puts its eye beam on you. It goes, but then you just say, with the power of a numb, I will not be eaten, <laughs> and you are not digested. All right, you will not ingest me, Shandy. You are digestion up. denied. <laughs> Ingestion denied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all right. Let's uh, let's mix it up here. Okay, so you should still have your hunter's mark. Yeah, you I think I use, do. You yeah. could yeah. just use a bonus action to target one of these things. And yep, that there's sounds stuff in good. the water or stuff in the acid too, swimming towards the naked wizard. Help! There's stuff in the acid swimming towards me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm actively fighting one of these things right now, so I think I'd better kill it first. So I'm going to do that. I'm sorry. I will try to come and get you as soon as it is out of my way. And Please uh, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a lot of talking instead of fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Um, yeah, okay. So that was my bonus action. So I can't use the planner warrior thing this round again, right? Like I'd have mm-hmm. to wait till next round. Okay, so I guess I shoot it. Okay. Let's let's mix it up. Let's kick it back. What was that? I can't even see it. Oh nice! Was that a crit? Ooh. It's a crit. Wow. Was that a crit? Oh yeah. Oh, excellent. You can you can right click on your damage and just click that crit button right there. Crit damage. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? And you also get to crit your uh, your hunter's mark. That's that's right. So wait, you hit one of these things though? Uh yeah, I I hit the um Mm -hmm. gazer that was attacking. Which one? Uh left, right, or middle? The one that was actively attacking me, the one that sh- a- attacked me, I'm attacking it back. I don't know which one that is. No, not a problem. Okay. okay. So when you're mm-hmm. clicking your dice at the bottom, because you yeah. crit, and so instead of that D6, click it twice to get two of them. Okay. For that crit hunter's mark. Yeah, then click that roll button. Okay. One and two and seven. Okay. Eight. FYI, the 13 was good enough to kill it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Arrow nice. goes right Ow. through its central eye and like comes out the other side carrying its iris. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the eyeball go through it and it's stuck on the tip of the arrow and then it sticks to the wall. The eyeball just is shunk right there. Yeah. You can collect that later and just wear it as a totem. If you there want. you go. I don't know if that's your 
what you're into, but hey, you got you got like two uh, trophies from other things on the sheet that you didn't specify. So yeah, I'm sure I am. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> okay. So that is Chandler. Do you have any other? That's it. All your moves, that, right? Are you yeah, moving up it. or are you staying where you're at? Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, move towards uh, the naked wizard. Help him out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You Bendrum, go. your turn. Um. I'm going to shoot at the thing that is moving in the water towards the naked wizard with my pistol. Okay. First. Okay, got it. Could you? Oh, you see, it's just like it's cool. in the water. Success. Thank you very Ooh, much. Was that a crit? Yes. This crit's coming out. All righty, cool. And so that is. Oh yeah, that is twenty points of damage <gasps> with my wow. pistol to the okay. thing in the water going towards Tom. All right, I uh, will call it this one. Swung damage. Um, it is still alive. It's oh, wow. still alive. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will shoot it with. It is alive my... and not blooded, by the way. I will shoot oh. it with my. It seems like it's really big. Cannon. Help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, that's another crit. Oh my god. Crit. Uh, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh man, this is wild. Uh hey, the crit boss over here. I just figured out how I can roll here. So let's do crit damage, everyone. Those extra arms are lucky on you. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> oh no. Well, it's it's a crit. Oh, that right? didn't do crit damage. I gotta roll again. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't. Oh, maybe I can't do crit damage with that. Uh oh, because I had that one. sorry there we go there you go roll that one 14 points of damage all right we'll take that one yeah that's really um, four, so it's pushed five feet off course as oh well. and it pushed five feet back okay cool with that one i will i will shove it back a little bit okay uh are you gonna hit it again you've got an extra extra bonus action i do now i forgot i i missed this little bit that is actually with disadvantage if i do Correct. that so I will, but I will impose the disadvantage this time. Okay. I think the disadvantage is only on this the second. Post. Which is a natural one. So. Wow, <laughs> natural one. So now I'm going to tell you how this works. If you roll another one, something nasty mm -hmm. will happen. But if you don't roll another one, then it's just a, a miss. Roll a d20. No. 14. Okay. Okay, so it's just a miss. Is that okay. the end of your turn? Uh, yeah. Um, Bendrum has a rather smug smile on his face as he sort of looks around and then misses completely and stops that. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you no, double crit, crit so it's, in it was good. bam, bam. It was just those second hands. You were so I'm not used to my second hands. Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> exactly. You're also a little buzz too, so that's not helping. Okay. Are the second hands just sticking out of the like uh, your little underneath butt. your shirt? It's like, beer. It's like yeah, oh, I got these extra hands. I'm or do they clothes. are they squeezing through the sleeve holes? <laughs> I know. Uh, do they I know. Out Maybe of? they're coming out the front. I don't know. I don't know where they're. Yeah. Do you make little holes? <laughs> they pop out of my shoulders, perhaps. I don't know. They're coming yeah. out of your, so they're like this. Come out of his ears. <laughs> <What's just laughs> there's just like stuff in the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Um. So one of the things in the water swims towards Challenger and comes out. It looks like a centipede with tentacles on the front of its face. Tentacles. And it is attacking Challenger. Let me see. Um, uh, it gets two attacks, one with its tentacles and one with its bite. Here we go. 18, does that hit you? It nope. Does not. And here's a bite. That's a nine. So it misses you totally. The next yeah. one swims to the naked wizard. Leave me alone. Ooh. Let me see. I start flailing. Um, no. I will allow that the five feet that it got pushed back has it so that it dashes to the naked wizard is right on him. Can't attack it. <laughs> Yes! I'm just yelling at it. No way! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like 
it's like got its tentacles out and it's gonna like drag you further into the acid with it. <laughs> and there's tentacles that go home like, in there that you could climb onto to get out of as well. Okay. Uh, Naked Wizard, your turn. All right. Uh, if I move, it's gonna have advantage. It's gonna oh, have right. a yep. attack it, on it, me. It, it got um, up. You could disengage, right? As an action. You can. You can disengage as an action, but you're also in difficult terrain. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, uh, all right. I think. Oh, I can't. I don't want to do that. Oh, man. This is tough. Um, I think I'm going to. Uh, it's not smart enough to use hideous laughter on, is it? No, probably not. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll just tell you these are dumb, dumb, dumbs, dumb, dumbs. Yeah, they, they seem they seem like dumb, dumbs. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cast. Sorry about the dogs in the background. I'm going to cast uh, Bane on okay. on it. So, or actually, it the there's two of these things in the water in the Correct. acid. Yep. There's um, four things still, I think, that we know of, right? There's how many creatures? Four, right? Two gazers and two. They're centipedes. carrying crawlers. They're carrying crawlers. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cast this on the two creatures in the water and then one of the one of the other ones. Uh, so three creatures of your choice that you can see within range must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target that fails his the saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. So reverse bless. So what's the uh what's the save? Do you see what? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen wisdom. Charisma. charisma yeah. Oh, charisma. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. That's a minus one. That's a fourteen. What was it? Thirteen or fifteen? Thirteen. Okay, so one of the carrying crawlers made it, and then the gazer. Jeez, I'm rolling really well. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, the carrying crawler on you failed. That's okay. the one I was worried about the most. <laughs> <laughs> one has been. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah move a action and a movement if you want it. I'm going to... End of turn in the in the acid, you take 2d6 acid damage. Yeah, so I'm going to... Um, can I distract it with an illusion? On my burnus? With like a minor illusion? I think it's too dumb. Maybe. It's Hold too on. Dumb. Well, what if what if I create an illusion where it makes it look like there's two of me? I will let you roll your deception on that. Yeah. Okay. All oh, right. Ooh. Wait. Uh, wait. What? Is that an action? No, it's a magic spell. But uh, I was gonna. Uh, you said I have an extra. I, I can cast another spell. Wait, I got. You did. Extra... What'd you do? You did. I cast a spell. I cast bane. Can you I cast, cast another bane? Spell? Is minor. Is no, you can't. Cast cantrip. Okay. You could cast a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Minor illusion. If it's if it's a bonus action or is it an action? Yeah, you said it, you have a bonus action. You have a bonus action. Left. Is minor illusion a bonus action or an action? I don't know. It's a cantrip spell. It, it, should, should, say, it should say. It should DA say. To it. It'll oh, say. Uh, it says D. What is it? Wait, uh, minor illusion. Three, it's an action. You can't. I can't. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Well, then I can't do that. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to try and crawl out of the acid and run away. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you're crawling out, that's going to crawling out and you can get like 10 feet away. Um, you are going to uh, have a um, bleh, I'm getting tired. Uh, an attack opportunity. Attack opportunity. Here it goes. But it has the but it's the one with the bane. So it has, it has bane. It's, yeah, it's, it's bane. So it's gonna you're gonna roll a d4 and subtract it. 17 minus three. Does a 14 hit you? I have an armor class of 16 because I used all yes. the money you give me for some very, very nice armor. Yes. <laughs> That's what that did. <laughs> it dropped the 17 down to a 13 or 14. Mm, yes. So yes, 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 yes. Nice. So I, I get out of the acid and get I don't take any damage. Get next to if you, if you can yeah. get it next yeah. to me. I'm, I'm, I'm running you. to Challenger. Yeah, I'm running to Challenger. Okay. You can get to you can get behind Challenger. All right, perfect. I give you a high five. 
Uh, I put the shield up since my other hand is a, is a sword. <laughs> I high five your shield. <laughs> like, nice work, guys. Yes, nice work. Uh, Challenger, it is your turn. Do you really have 15 hit points? Uh, yeah, because that, that 10 that ten cold damage. I also I forgot to heal myself after the last fight, which is nice. foolish. Um, okay, so... If you reach in my there's... pocket, there's a healing potion. I know you don't drink things, but just saying. Um, no, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about my hit points right now. Um, so there's, there's two of the, there's one in front of me, one in the acid, and then two. There's two the gazers, there's one in front of you, and then there's one where Tom, where the naked wizard was. Okay. Um, you said that that, um, fish hook that I got earlier had hypnotic pattern in it. I did. Right. That's a 30 foot cube. Is that big enough to get all of the all of the evil that baddies? In? Is big enough to get all the evil baddies? I will I will pull out, shing, give in to your lust for gorging and be destroyed. Ah! Is that a and, dog uh, scratching itself in the background? That's, that's my cat. Doing. Sorry. Okay. What's he doing? It's <laughs> not so good. Yes, he's scratching. He's being. He's being. That's, he's being a really cat. intense bass going on there. I, yeah. I, I apologize. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's going to be. Um, I don't know what the DC is on the magic I item. For you, hold on a second. It is a DC. And it's a wisdom save. It's a DC fifteen wisdom save. Here we go. Yeah. That's for all of them. And the one that has Bane gets a minus four. There's a dead gazer. Okay, so I'm going to roll for the damaged one first. So it's a wisdom save, DC 15. Eight failed. Okay, next one. Failed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the gazer. Wisdom save. Was it? I said 15, right? 14. 15, yeah. Failed. Oh, Failed. Jesus. Are you okay. about to wipe out all of my stuff? Gone, 16. Gone. One gazer. One gazer made it. Okay. And so, yeah, the, all the ones that the ones that failed are charmed. They can't move. And they are incapacitated while and have a speed of zero. Okay. But they, all the ones that are looking at the pattern are just going to stare. Uh, and what happened happen to the floor? Uh, uh, I, I, I guess it, um, uh, I toss it into the air and it, it, it dangles and shines and it glitters. And for some reason, things want to shove it in their mouth. Like Challenger doesn't understand, but, but he so understands that all of you meat mortals, you just, you, you just, uh, <laughs> Meat mortals. So, so Challenger just so Challenger tosses it out there. It like yeah. shimmers around, around and it's and floating then, in midair. Everyone's yeah. and it's glittering Ooh. and they're all over. Sparkly. Okay. Sparkly. That is your turn. Is that a that's uh, that was an action? You got a bonus yeah. and a movement. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have a bonus. Okay. Uh, that's a dead gazer. Okay, so the live gazer is going to just. Uh, it's going to continue to attack. It is attacking Chandelar. Okay. Come on, there is a, another frost ray. Frost ray, DC twelve dexterity save, or ten cold damage. These are nasty. Yeah. A little upset that they're seventeen. Seventeen. Yep, but it's also uh, hit. Um, it misses you completely. Okay, and then it's hitting you with a dazing ray. DC 12 wisdom save or be charmed by the gazer. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm charmed. Oh, Isn't it no. wonderful? Uh, so in 5e, charm just means that you can't attack um, the target that charmed you. Okay. Uh, and, and then they, they get advantage to like social roles if they try to convince you stuff social but you're not like um you're not like dominated you're not mind controlled okay that's cool yeah it's more Nico, like a protective fine, thing there's still a carrying crawler to kill isn't there <laughs> there is uh yeah Nico, no, there Nico, go. Nico, no. come in here the water is nice <laughs> it's not nice believe me i've been there 
I do believe charmed people don't do stupid suicidal st things. So fine, you take away my fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So the other gazer just floats there. Chandelier, your turn. Okay. Um, the other gazer. There's there's a gazer that charmed me. There's the other gazer, and there's the carrying crawler. I'm there's I'm kind of. There was a lot that happened all at once. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where we're at. There's the sparkling there's one, thing that's making. Okay, I'll I'll shut up and let okay. you tell me. <laughs> there's one damaged carrying crawler over to your right. There is okay. an undamaged carrying crawler right in front of Challenger. They're both hypnotic patterned. Uh, and then there is one gazer that is just like floating there. And then there's the one that charmed you. Okay. So, so the carrion crawlers are occupied. There's the one I can't attack. I'm going to attack the other gazer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the usual stuff. Um, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll, nothing seems to be surviving more than one round here, I guess, but I'll, change the yes. hunter's mark and work from there so okay. is your planar warrior damage actually higher than a hunter's mark uh yeah but not by much and do okay. i get any bonus with the hunter's mark like it's a d6 i think for the hunter's mark and a d8 for the planar warrior yeah. but i don't get the bonus uh to hit with the planar warrior right no so. well neither has a bonus to hit Okay, yeah, no, but the okay. hunter's mark lasts longer. So, like, if it was, if any of these things, like, a hunter's mark would probably be good on with the carrion crawlers because they seem to be meaty. So you'll you probably you hit them a couple times because then you can get both, right? If you hunter's mark hit, and then the next round the hunter's mark is still there, and then you can play your warrior and you get both. Right. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, maybe I should be using the planner warrior thing and getting that, you know, extra like, like one damage. One damage. Well, yeah, I mean, you never if know. If you think they're going to pop in a single hit, yeah. You've got I would save a... somebody's life with an Orison in a game, by the way. So, yeah, sometimes oh, one okay. makes a difference, right? Right. So, there's a, uh, one of the carrion crawlers is like severely wounded, uh -huh. um, and then one is undamaged. Okay, let's let's uh, eliminate you hit, one of the targets. Then, yeah, Wait, if you no. hit one of the hypnotized guys, they get the hypnotism is broken. Okay, right. well, no, it, it, I'm at, I'm attacking the gazer, but I can still okay. use planar warrior on it. It's within mm -hmm. thirty feet yep. of me, and yeah. All right. Okay, so let's do it. All right, up here where my stuff is. Okay, so that's uh, it? yeah. 15 to hit. Okay. Roll damage and roll your planar warrior is what you're using? Yep, that's right. Okay, okay. so basic damage here. Nice! 11 points. Mm. Max damage from that and my D8 for planar warrior gives me an extra one. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that's sweet. That's 12. Yeah. Is it really 12? 12. Yeah. It has one hit point left. You did not kill it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, really? Come on. Still there. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, except I have a magic arrow. Oh, is it Ooh. plus one for damage? It's well, look at that one plus arrow. one. Yeah. Hey. There, there we go. Last point. Victory. You, you, like, you graze it, and it goes, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, yeah. so so that last little bit of damage takes it out okay here we go yes. um uh, you are very effective Shadowwater. okay bendrum also very effective uh bendrum uh now challenger your hit points are you struggling a bit there do you need some healing uh, you, you know you know uh, <laughs> since the enemy seems incapacitated, healing seems like a good idea. All right. I will use my action to cast Cure Wounds. Yes. And that is nine points of health. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Health. I'll and I'll that. use my bonus action to shoot the... It's only the two uh, things in the water that are left, yeah? No, there's, no, there's one more gazer out. that's not hypnotized. It has Chandelier. Oh. Right. And Chandelier can't shoot it. So you should yeah. you should try and shoot him out of the sky. Yeah, okay, cool. Take him out. I'll use my uh 
uh, Eldritch Cannon on that. That is a 23 to hit. Oh, that is. Um, and five points of damage. <laughs> Do I risk... Wait up. Let's see how many I've got left. Um... Yeah, okay. Um, all right, I'm going to roll with disadvantage, see if I hit it again. Okay. With a five, it is not blooded, just so you know. Oh, yeah, I got a, Ooh, 20, eight, seven. That totally got a 23 to hit. All right. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. I got a plus five because it's my spell see, casting modifier. Okay. Uh, and now that hits. takes another eight points of damage, so 13 all up this round. Exactly uh, enough to pop it like a horrifying multi-eyeball zit. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, I'm going to quote uh, that. I'm going to remember that uh, one. Uh, <laughs> Again, Bedroom's like... Never says it. Bedroom. Never says it is a good shot. You can just Perhaps see Perhaps you should consider getting permanent uh, soul-forged prosthetics added. These extra arms seem to suit you. He uh, <laughs> he does. Mm, he's an artifice, so he's probably quite interested in that. Okay, are these two carrying crawlers? They're both charmed, right? Or they're yeah, they're both hypnotized. Yeah, and you were focusing on that. Okay. Yeah, I I guess that means I lost my magic weapon. No. Oh yeah, yeah. you lost your magic weapon. What are you uh, it, worth? 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 What are you? Uh, what are you? doing to keep them underneath uh the hypnotic pattern i mean i i guess I, well i'm conscious i just have to concentrate on it right i just have to keep it keep it going you, you, um, you've never cast hypnotic pattern before what are you doing <laughs> are you are you doing any shimmy are you are you are you doing uh I, I'll, you I'll make doing? delicious noises <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> so you're making this noise. Making gorge. <laughs> these these gorging noises. These are the noises of the gorging. <laughs> you wish to gorge. Smacking noises. So I mean, the noises if your mouth is not wet. <laughs> the myst the mystery of the soul forged. <laughs> the mystery of the soul. Forged. It's like, if you're making this noise. Your mouth is like going like this, and for some reason, it is keeping them hypnotized. <laughs> yes, yes, I love it. I love it. Uh, and then I guess I'll. Um, can, we, can I can I get to the uh, the carrion crawler, the injured one in the acid? Can I get like next to it without going into the acid, or is that not an option? You can get to it. Uh, you would need reach to get to it. And it's Tom's turn first. Nick, it was oh, wow. yep. I thought it was Nick, my turn. Was challenger. Sorry. Oh, I was, okay. I was just like, I was having a moment there about keeping the carrying crawlers under hidden out of time. <laughs> okay, okay. I was amusing myself there. I apologize. It's okay. I was just a little, a little confused. I'm sure, I'm sure Challenger's also a little confused. <laughs> yes. Naked Wizard, your turn. Um. Okay, so they're both in the... Uh, uh, how... Should we, um, should we just, I guess we should attack them, friends, still, mm -hmm. while they're hypnotized? Uh, yeah, you should, because the when you attack it, it wakes up, so right. we should just focus or, on or one. Could we hide? Yeah, we could just, we could just run away. We could just hide, and then they won't know where we the, went. Run away? We, we can, oh, we, yeah. can just go, we can just go to the, we can just go to Kuya Mawaii's heart. And then he pops back into his ethereal. Yeah, I mean, if we, yeah. if if most of us leave the room and then you leave the room and then stop concentrating, then they won't know where we are, and we don't need to kill them. We can just skedaddle. Wait, but then, but then, do I lose my my cool my cool bar that I got? We have to. Go do I have to leave the fishing hook behind? We, I... In order to walk along no, no, the you pathway. Could, you, could, you could reel it back in. I'll let you reel it back in. I think I think okay. we're good. I don't know that we have to kill everything. We could just move yeah. along. Good point. On the other, on the other side of the um, of the stomach, there is there are three passageways going up. 
How are we have we to pick one of the passageways to go into. Boon So Tuko goes, We have to pick the right one because, and then the right one, uh, the one on the right. Is that what you're saying? The correct <laughs> one. I'm sorry. I'm the <laughs> one. I mean, correct. So, so <laughs> as you're going, you feel the alligator shaking. <laughs> and he goes, No! Kuyubu Wai is having a heart attack. Everyone needs to make a DC 12 dexterity save. What? Oh, oh no. He's shaking. Oh, seven. Seven. Not my strongest suit. Oh, hey. 18. 18. I'll take it. 23. 23. Ouch. I fall down. What was the last one? I missed it. Everybody else passed but me. I can just bring it up. Oh, okay. So. That's all you oh, hey, 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 wait a second. Oh, ta so, so the naked wizard goes, oh no, I've lost my footing. Oh no, rolls, I've lost my footing. He, he rolls into the acid again. Oh, oh god. god. No. <laughs> Help. Did to catch him. Can I, can I cast Mage Hand to catch me as I fall? To catch yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'll, I'll give, who, who's next to you? Who's next to you? Let's go. Uh, uh, Chandelar. Let's call Chandelar can like... You can prevent this if you make give me like an acrobatics or an athletics check. Beat a 15. Sure. Okay. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Beat a 15, athletics or uh, acrobatics. Okay. We'll try my acrobatics. It's better. Yes. 18. Oh. How do you save the naked wizard from going into the acid? Okay. So how is he like tripping? Like is he, he goes, like... Oh, no. Like, and, like, sideways. Yes. Sideways like this. I reach my arms out to you as I'm falling. Ah. Okay, I'm oh, no. going to. Uh, I jeez, I'm not, okay, and this is like along the passageway, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Ten feet yeah. wide. Oh. Yeah. Ten feet <laughs> wide. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, and he's falling sideways. I'm going to kind of do a baseball slide and grab his foot. I think. Ooh. <laughs> So you're just popping him up by his leg. You go, I got you. Are you serious? I mean, I, I don't have any room to maneuver. I can't do cartwheels. I can't bounce off the wall. My hand is right here. Help me. She grabs your legs. <laughs> you're pulling. Okay. So so you don't go into the acid lake uh, because Chandelar just saved you. As Thank you, you see that. You see that the um, the room, as the heart attack was happening, the room glows like a blue, um, like a blue shimmering, and you could see through the alligator's flesh, and you see like the Niyogi hatchlings just swarming inside of his flesh. Oh no! Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Wait uh, a minute. Wait a minute. Challenger will help. Uh, will help. Uh, Chandelar pull the naked wizard back into <laughs> onto you. the walkway. So <laughs> not sure what happened there. Okay. Here you go. Th thank you. Thank you, friends. You're welcome. Um, how do we know which passage to go down? That's uh, There's scary things in the walls, but um, hey. we need to keep moving. And one other thing, uh, while Boon So Tuko is sticking his head out and talking, I noticed on his character sheet that he can cast Cure Wounds. Could he give me a Cure Wounds? Uh, you guys are... Um, Boon So Tuko is... Yes, I will cast Cure Wounds on you. Uh oh, he's pooping out a uh, bubble again. And then, he, and then a big bubble comes out. Oh, oh no. And then he says, no. Now, what you need to do is you need to inhale that. <laughs> what, what uh, okay, I guess. Turn, turn off your nose first. I guess Challenger will breathe for the first time since getting into this thing, this whole this nastiness. Hold on, where's the. Uh, What's cure wounds again? Uh, one one d eight plus spellcasting modifier. One d eight plus spellcasting modifier. Okay. What's it, what's the spellcasting modifier? Uh, oh, your like your wisdom score. So uh, for for boon such a code would be plus four. Plus four, yeah. Twelve. Per I am all the way healed. He max healed you. Thank you, you Boonzo. Sweet. Thank you for taking uh, my gases into you. That means uh, a lot to me. <laughs> But, oh, um, Lord. Okay. Also, the the scent of this place is unpleasant. In okay. the extreme. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Agreed. 
I'm going to yeah. stop breathing now. <laughs> Is there any no way, way to like invest, investigate the different passages or yeah. Oh, yeah. the spectrum? Sorry. Or I, I go to the closest one and I and I kind of listen in, see if I can hear anything. Okay. So um, what you're going to want to do is so you're listening on the three passageways okay mm -hmm. i'm going to need your investigation perceptions or survival checks from you guys okay okay i'm purely I... a cannon 18 and not 18 anything else right today. bendrum's got an 11 there's an uh... 18 from tom the naked wizard i think i'll try survival this time yeah. Yeah, 19 for me. Okay. So okay. Um, Bendrum says, it's totally the left one. And then um, <laughs> Tom and Chandelard notice that from the center one, there is um, there is the sound of... Dum -dum, dum -dum. I hear the heart that way, she says. Okay. So you start traveling down the center and into the chamber of the heart uh, before that i'm going to do this one thing yeah i'm going to activate my watcher's will which gives uh i'm going to use it on the naked wizard <laughs> and he gets advantage on intelligence wisdom and charisma saving throws the next time <laughs> yeah that's that's been a problem <laughs> that has been a problem it's been a problem yeah. and i want to take a five minute break for refilling oh. drinks, bio, and I'm gonna get a chair because I've been standing this whole time. Oh wow, really? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> good <Goodness. advice. laughs> yep. Man. All right. Commitment. See you soon. We'll see, see you, you guys in a bit. See you in a bit. Yep. All right. All so right. we are back. You guys are um, <clears throat> going up the middle chamber, uh, the middle. Uh, uh, arterial passageway up to the heart. Um, and Bunsoro took all, sticks his head out of the ethereal and goes, um, can we try sneaking this time? Because I don't think we've been sneaky at all. And I think we've just been kind of walking in and good just like taking, taking it in the face. And I don't think that's good strategy, but I'm just a gecko, so I don't know. But so that's a, a wonderful idea. Although, do you recall last time we went down a funny slide into the dangers? But you could have done it real sneakily. That's what a I'm sneaky doing. slide. All right, let's sneaky slide, everyone. <laughs> Sneakiness <laughs> is not my. I heard it's like the cha cha slide. I don't know what that is, but you know, sneaky slide, cha cha slide. That sounds like a real banger, Bunso. Bunso to code is the cha cha slide at karaoke night. All right, let's 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 sneak through the passageway, everyone. Yep. Uh, sure. <laughs> Endrum's like, mm, I'll maybe go at the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he looks at his I'll, head in, I'll, head, I'll sneak in first and see what I see. So, okay. yeah. so before is, is everyone Chandler, else, are you a sneaky person too? You guys aren't very sneaky. Yeah, I'm a sneaky person. I rolled my stealth. I assume that's what we were being directed to do. Correct. Yeah. 21. I will wait here. Oh, eight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, friends. Not so good today. Maybe I will roll. I told you all the good rolls were going to come at the beginning of this adventure. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's you in the water, so that's a good thing. <laughs> no. yeah. Um so you like are like going up into the heart chamber, and then um the naked wizard steps on like this just like bubbly area and it goes. <laughs> okay, I'm flattening myself against the passageway here in the hopes that they won't see all of us. <laughs> Oh, more farts. <laughs> you're inside of a body. It happens. So, uh, you're, so you do that, do and then you, see, you hear um, you hear another voice in your head, a deeper, like more powerful version yeah. of the new voice you heard before. And it goes, um, "It approaches. It is coming. Exterminate. <laughs> Whatever that is, <laughs> I can hear it." <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I made a whoopsie, friends. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay. Challenger moves into the don't let the naked wizard get killed position, if possible. I'm taking up a position where maybe I get partial cover. I don't know. I'm like, you know, pointing my, my bow out the front of the passage then, I guess, like crouching. 
I'll describe what you're seeing, and then and then we'll see how effed up the naked wizard is. Hold on, here we go. <laughs> oh no! No, you can step in it a lot. <laughs> um. Okay, so you are entering a great open chamber enclosed by the living ribs of Kuyawaya. The avatar of his heart beats weakly in the center of the chamber as you see the broken form of the Niyogi, ma Niyogi Master clawing its way in with cancerous legs. In your mind, you feel the screeching angry words, the river spirit will be mine and the river will be too. I claim this world and its riches for the Niyogi Masters. Exterminate. Okay. Uh, can we perceive what he's telling it to exterminate us? Uh, yeah, give me that's that. a good question. That is a very like, good question. What is he sending at us? Sure. Hold on. Let me not do that one. I feel I have a feeling they're they're kind of like barrel shaped, but they have little probes sticking out of them, and like one big. Just a hunch, mind you, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am going to need you guys to beat a roll that I just rolled. Uh oh. With what skill? Perception. What? Perception? Yep. And then we're going to roll, roll initiative. Four. Natural 20. Natural one. Natural 20. Oh, geez. Natural one. All I do is shoot cannons. Do any of those? <laughs> <laughs> is 11. any of that beating a 23? What was that? It was a 21, a but it was a natural 20. Yeah, skill checks don't work like that, unfortunately. Oh no. I am running the encounter. You see a Niyogi master just like latched into the side of the heart. You see that he has collapsed to one of the chambers of the heart. And he's like <laughs> warming his way, trying to get into another chamber. Oh no. Uh, let us go ahead and roll initiative. <clears throat> oh. 21. Oh, That's a good roll. Ten. Here we go. Not so fast this time. So the naked wizard, having stepped in it, literally, can now go first. Uh, okay. I can still only see the knee, the master guy. Correct. I I did forget something, and this is my fault. Um, I am letting uh, Bunso Tuko uh, give you guys some uh, buffs before. So. He, if, what's he got? He's got like protection from evil. What I give that thing? Yeah, he has protection from evil and good. And then he has oh, he has bless. Oh yeah, no, take bless, 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 bless please. Yes, let's go yeah, ahead and bless. put bless on who? Uh, everybody but the but the wizard. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> naked wizard. <laughs> but you don't make attack yeah, rolls. The three of us. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the three of you have bless. That's an extra one d four. On your attacks and your is it saving throws or skill checks? Saving throws. And Wait, saving throws. I do make saving throws a lot. <laughs> <Did we add that? laughs> I just gave you advantage on your saving throws. On some of them. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I I don't I don't have a, a thing for so you. The naked wizard is naked and up front with Chandelar. Uh I mean, I've got some armor on. I'm all right. You've got Challenger and Bendrum coming up behind you. Mm-hmm. You were supposed to be like quietly in the back, but then that quietly didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna say Chandelar is hiding, like behind like a uh, behind like a rib. Cool. Nice. And then I've got Bendrum. I've got, I'm sure Challenger is in front, and then Bendrum is behind them. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm up first. You're up first. Yep. Okay. So I yell to the uh, whatever the thing is on the heart, and um, <clears throat> trying to trying to distract it from chewing into the heart or whatever it's doing. And uh, I say, "You, you ugly thing! You're the one. You're the reason we're here. Leave that poor alligator heart alone. Come face us like a whatever you are." <laughs> I'm trying it's to like, intimidate it and like make it angry. <clears throat> okay, so what you see is that you see that it's like just basically the 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 um the eel part of it. It's the legs, but it's missing its abdomen. Like its abdomen, like 
is just totally gone. Like it had been like popped and all of the little hatchlings that were in it are now swarming uh, Kuyabuaya. Oh, is it still That's... actively doing things? It's just, I mean, is this, is this like a natural biological thing this thing does and it's still active or is it like dying because it burst or something? That is a good question. Let's mm -hmm. let's give me an Arcana or a Survival type check. Okay. Uh, Chandelar has advantage on it. Yep, you bet. I I figured. I actually do know the answer to this, but oh. does I Chandelar know, know the answer to this, or do you know? That's the question, Chandelar? right? That's the question. Yeah. Does does she? That's yeah. why I'm rolling. So yeah, Chandelar know. would. Natural with her one. Yeah, she would know. I. It's like, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. Mm, not great. 13. With a 13 and with uh, Bendrum helping you out with some memory, like reminding you, Bendrum's going, oh, I remember some of this. Uh, go ahead and tell him what you know. Uh, yeah, it's dying, but it's going to take a while. And it might gain control of the heart first. It wants to feed its babies. That's what I recall about Miyagi old masters when they blow up. So you're saying kill it. Fast. Kill it with fire. Kill Make it me. with fire fast. Yes. Is this thing smart? Very. Hideous laughter. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be Are you hitting uh, it with hideous laughter? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and incapacitate this thing so we can take it out quickly. Is that a charm effect? It's a no, there's no charm effect on it. I just okay. incapacitate it and it goes. It's I mean, not a charm or a frightened it effect. Could go prone. No, no. Uh, but that's a wisdom thirteen. Okay. Uh, wisdom thirteen. Twenty. Oh. Damn. Oof. Good try. Well. Yeah. Poop. <laughs> uh, Bunsotuko says you called. Uh, no, <laughs> is that your name now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm was, done. Do you have anything else to do? Or uh, I just yelled at it, but I, I'm going to back up behind uh, Challenger. All right, okay. you stay there. They're going to kill you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 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 okay, so the Neogi. Although that is a legit strategy. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. Send it the exterminators. Is going to. Who is the real most dangerous? Okay, so it is going to go um, <clears throat> exterminate, and it shoots out two beams at Challenger, who it does recognize as being the most dangerous. Oh, twelve? I don't like that at all? Miss. Twelve misses. Twenty. Twenty hits. Ugh. Seventeen damage. Ah, nice. oof. Oh no! It's like can't half the take health. reactions until the Niyogi's next turn, as it as it shoots out that beam, and then like a spectral tentacle wraps around you. Oh no! Okay, that sucks. That hurt too. Um, so that's two hits. Uh, next is Bendrum. Well. I'm gonna shoot it, aren't I? Um, Do it. Shoot it! Yeah. It's, um, it's behind three quarters cover, so it's like kind of like poking its head out of like the side. Kill it, kill it quickly! So I feel it like a, we uh, might only have forty minutes left to kill this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Do I? Can I? I can. I can. I maneuver at all to get around and get a better vantage on it? Uh, yes. It, it looks like you have a. It looks like. You have a uh, open run right to the heart. Okay, it looks like that. Okay, uh, it looks like that. Yes. All right, so I'm going to move around the outside. I noticed of this. the choice of words too, kid. Yeah, this chamber, thirty feet to the right to or to the left. Uh, right. Okay. In an attempt to get a better shot. Okay, uh, I'll give it half cover now. All right. Cool. Um, so it's going to have a plus two bonus on its AC and dexterity saving throws. Okay. 
Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, shoot it. That is a 21 to hit with a pistol. That hits. Okay. Yes. That hits. Cool. And that is eight points of uh, damage with that. Okay. Uh, and then I'll shoot it with my cannon first okay. hit with a 24. Um, yes. Uh, that, oh, shit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, doing 15 damage, force damage, and moving at five feet. Okay. Oh. It moves off and it goes... And uh, give me an insight check. Insight check. Uh, yeah, I'll make an insight check. Everyone can give me an insight check on this. No, that's a nine. Uh, Six. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, Thirteen. Uh, Sixteen. With the sixteen, you can tell that it's like um, and with your knowledge of Neogi, you know that it is um. It's withering fast as it, when it's off the heart. Oh. oh, okay. When it's off the heart. Yeah, off the heart. It's like it's feeding it's on the heart. Get it off the heart, I say. Okay. Right. That's what I was I trying to do with the laughter thing, my... but it didn't work. <laughs> you were extra you were. thing with disadvantage. Ha okay. However, just warning to the team, I've only got after this round. I've only got five more shots with my Eldritch Cannon. So, uh, depending on this thing, uh, I have four magic arrows left. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> that is a 15 to hit. 15 misses. Okay. Ah. All right. Wait, it doesn't have cover anymore. That hits. Sorry. Oh, maybe. Yes. It's off the heart. It doesn't Excellent. have cover. Yep. So you've, you've just pinpointed its AC. Max damage. 16 points oh, yeah. and just yeah. push them with five feet again. Bedroom, it is blooded and it goes, No, you shall not keep me away from the heart. <laughs> You're very literal, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and it goes, Um, it goes, Eat him. Ah! And then you see, like, the flesh above you of Kuya Bawaya rippling, and then a swarm of grubs falls right on Bendrum. Oh, yuck. Oh, so no. To drop oh, yeah. a swarm of rock grubs on your head. Oh. I don't like the that. Class? Hmm. All right, cool. Benjamin, your armor class. Oh, my, oh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. So they like, they they like are just you're covered in like little tiny Miyogi maggots that are trying to get into your armor, but they can't get in. That's so gross. Um, okay. Okay. Have those always been there? Is that a new addition to your wardrobe? <laughs> Possibly. Okay, so as you're doing that, you you hear coming from right on top of Vendrom, and then oh, you see a spider on the ceiling hit you. Oof! And the twenty-four hits you. I am assuming. Yeah, he said it's yeah, nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. Vendrom, you're. You are webbed to the ground. Okay. And the spider is coming down the wall towards you. Excellent. Uh, That's what I was hoping was going to happen. You can take an action to, to break out with a DC 12 strength check mm -hmm. on your turn. Next turn, a, another spider is attacking. Ugh. And a five, I'm assuming, Mrs. Challenger as a web... As another web bolt comes in, splat, and like misses Challenger. Just hits right next to his feet. Uh, were, the, were these were these the things that were suspiciously next to the completely open <laughs> pathway? Uh, they're both on the ceiling. They're both on the ceiling. 
One is coming down oh, the bedroom. Okay. There's another one that's also getting down to the ground in between you and the Neogi Master. Okay. Chandler. Right. Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay, yuck. All right. I don't think I have anything that can help you guys. I'm like, oh. Shoot, shoot the shoot yeah, the yogi. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the yogi. Yeah, I'm, I'm shoot gonna the, shoot the yogi. That's what I'm doing. Kill it with um, fire. Kill it with fire or with yeah. Hunter's Mark and uh, your other thing. And Planar Warrior. Warrior. Yeah, so we'll start with the Hunter's Mark because we expect this is gonna take a while. And yeah, mm -hmm. yeah let's do it. Um, okay. Okay. Wait a minute. No way. Yeah. Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I was thinking about, do I want to do the other one first? Actually, I can do that, can't I? I? It doesn't matter what order I do them in. No, but if you do the Hunter's Mark, it'll be on their next round and you can. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Then that, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Come on, guys. Wish me luck. Yeah. 19 on the yes. die for 27 yeah. total. I was going to say, you have advantage because you're shooting from hiding first. You can Ooh, roll yeah. again. If you get a 20, you get a crit. Roll again. Roll again. No, yeah. absolutely not. I'm not rolling again unless I have. No, no, it's advantage. It's it's advantage. advantage. Yeah, you, you take the best. You take oh, the best roll. Okay, so I just roll another single roll is what you're telling yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. And if, this, if it was higher, you take it. Yeah, just okay. roll another attack roll. Okay, right, so, so it was lower, so you stick with the 27. Okay. So do your damage and. And you get that in the Hunter's Mark damage. Andy's marked. Okay, so that's uh, seven on that one. Mm -hmm. And then the Hunter's Mark is a D6, right? So, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. And that is three. So total 10. He is blooded and pissed. It goes, um, shoot, what did I give it? I gave it, it goes, <clears throat> you shall not take me so easily. And it goes, and then like tentacles of dark webs come up out of the ground and like cover that part of the room where you're at. How many attacks does it get compared to how many attacks we get in a round? It has legendary actions. So okay. this is All right. Yeah, he's, All right. he's a enough. big boss. He gets some extra, some extra juice. So Fair enough. 20 foot sphere. He can get, oh God. Oh yeah, you guys are splitting up. So. Are we? We're not split up yet. No, Bendrum's well, already. Bendrum's, Bendrum's to the side. You yep. were ahead of us a little bit because you were sneaking. Yep. Okay. But the naked wizard's next to me. I'm, I'm back with Challenger. Challenger and the naked wizard are close to you. So I am going to rule that if I roll a uh, 11 to 20, that Chandelar is far away, and a 1 to 10, she is within range. And you are within range. So the God three of you are inside of a hunger of Hadar. Which oh. means <laughs> that you're locked oh. in that spot. Oh, Vendrum knows what that does. Yeah. So a gateway to the dark between the stars opens, a region infested with unknown horrors and Neogi maggots. So 20-foot radius sphere of blackness and bitter cold appears centered on a point within range, lasting for the duration. Um, you can hear a cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises that can be heard up to 30 feet away. No light can be seen in here. You're blinded. Uh, if you start your turn here, you take 2d6 cold damage. Um, and if you end your turn there, you take 2d6 acid damage. Uh, and that is what it did with its... Legendary it action was that two? Bowl of I, I think that's and um, challenger take 2d6 acid damage. I will roll it. Hold on. They say cold, I mean, I mean cold for cold. Oh, cold, cold, the cold. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. four, six, six cold damage, six cold damage. Uh, I'm getting pretty low. It's okay, bad. it's bad. Um. Challenger has eight hit points left. Yeah. Four. Uh, and I can't see. You can't see. You can walk forward, but you can't okay. see. Okay. All right. So I'll walk forward. 
it's difficult terrain. It'll take all your movement to get out of it. Okay, then I'll do that. Okay. And then I can see. So you're standing at the edge of it. Standing at the edge. Two spiders and a uh, Neogi Master. But I'm not close enough to the spider to do anything. Am I, can I hit the spider, or is he still far away from me? They're on the ceiling. Uh, oh, yeah, they're on the ceiling. I can't hit them anyways. No, they're, one's on the ceiling, and one is over by Bendrum, but you don't have enough movement to get to him. Okay, that's fine. Um, I am going to... Oh, I used my... Um, I used my channel divinity to give the saves bonuses to... Uh, to uh, the naked wizard, I have a, um, I have a scroll of cure wounds. Can I just use cure wounds on myself? I guess. Yes, you can. Because I can't do anything else. All right, so just one right. eight plus one. I mean, you could dash up, but also yes. Uh, well, I could dash up. That punk will get my my face bit off. Probably, probably should heal yourself. <laughs> probably <laughs> maybe. Don't think, don't think I have enough hit points to just be okay. So that's five. So I'm a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, yeah. and so that's Bunso, my turn. Yeah, go ahead. Bunso Toko goes ahead and goes. He pops out of his little inter interdimensional bubble and goes, "Here you go." Ten. <laughs> <laughs> but now he is outside of the bubble, and he's like, "Challenger, you got to protect me until I can go back in." Uh, I can. I, I'm out of reaction. I can't react until after the boss's next turn, I guess, right? Correct. He says, can I Can I go in your mouth? Will that save me? <laughs> can I go in your mouth, please? Um, Just don't swallow. Uh, do, you, you do not fit. Uh, you have other get compartments. Behind my, don't, get behind my shield. Don't, you must have some other compartments in there. <laughs> I'd really like to go inside your mouth. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> Do I have? Do I have? Do I have some like I can open up some flaps? That would that would be that would make me more comfortable if I just went in there. But can we hear this conversation inside this <laughs> void thing? You're outside of the void. He goes behind you. Right, but can we hear? We the ones still stuck in the void. I will not go inside you without your consent. Fine. Okay, thank you. Void. Okay. <laughs> On the next round. Um. Oh, I can't do that. Shit. Never mind. Okay, so it is Tom the Naked Wizard's turn. All right. I uh, also walk as quickly as I can out of this weird right. thing, you're, but I'm trying to take damage, right? Roll first. Yeah. That is I roll 12. Yikes. 12? Yes, sir. You got two sixes? Oh. I did. Oh, Ouch. gosh. Hey, did you say that Boon Sotoko healed me when he came out of the... He did. How uh, much was that? 10? You said 10? Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you. Tom the Naked Wizard is down to seven. Uh, I have no resistance no. against this. It's not like I can... He does like, have oh. a potion, though, which I gave him. I do. I do. Potion healing. I do. Is that like an, an extra action? If I were... Like, I walked out of this thing. Do I? No, can I take a potion? Movement. You still have a bonus action and an action left. All right. Does the potion count as a bonus action? Um, I will... Yeah, I'll allow it. Go. Okay, um, down in the potion as I as I walk out of this thing. You go. You, you do that. And you as you're pointing to Challenger. Go. This is how you do it. Just, <laughs> in mouth. Yeah. Put it in your mouth, and it heals you. It's delicious. Mm. It tastes like cherry. All better. Mm. Okay. All right. What does that heal for? How do we do that? Uh, two D four plus two. I think. Four plus two. All right. Uh, I think it's in my inventory. Two D. I'll just I'll just roll two D four. Um, boop, boop, boop. Nope, nope. Uh, six plus two, eight. Nice. Eight, nice. All right, I'm back up to 15 health. That's better. Um, and then I, I point at a uh, scary guy in the middle and I go, You, you with your literal words, take <laughs> one of these. And um, I cast Shatter. Which has Ooh. like a 10, 10 foot radius, Ooh. so it's so mm -hmm. that it, it's far enough away so that it only hits him. It doesn't hit challenger. Doesn't hit he's not right no. up on him. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so I cast. I'm still pretty far away, actually. Yep. Yeah. So uh, here's the description: a sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts from a point of your choice within range. Each creature in ten foot radius, uh, centered on that point, must take a constitutional saving throw. 
a uh, creature takes 3d8 thunder damage if failed half on success here we go good choice like it yes is it a 13 you said uh it's a 13 yeah I rolled an exact 13. Oh man, are you oh, kidding me? Oh. Well, roll the three, it's still half damage, so half yeah. just roll, roll high, roll high. He doesn't have Bane on him, does he? No, not yet. Uh, oh, I, I rolled the wrong thing, sorry. I hit uh, Cure Wounds, that's not it. All right, uh, 13. But we so do have Bless, I don't know. Two is six damage. He... Bless helps you hit. Uh, we yeah. do have Bless, he doesn't have Bane, but we do have Bless, does that matter? Does that have a bearing? That not for saving throws. Okay. And I was that, well for yeah. our saving throws, not for the enemy's saving throws. Right. Correct. All right. That would so. be Bane, what he had cast earlier. Okay, so. it is the it is the master's turn. Um, he scuttles towards the heart. Hops on it, chunk. And it's like he starts, looks like he's immediately feeling better. And then he bites into it and then starts sucking on it. And uh, looks like he's getting healthier. You gorged impurity who gorges upon what gorged you. You are an abomination <laughs> and must be excised. Stop, Stop eating. <laughs> Meta Gorge. He is, he is no, longer, <laughs> no longer blooded. Oh. Jeez, oh. he healed a lot. All right. And then he, uh, the swarm of rot grubs on uh, Bendrum attacks him. Excellent. 10 miss. Bendrum, your turn. My turn. Yep, your turn. Okay. Uh, I am oh, and it, it to... definitely like scurried so that it's got three quarter cover from you. Yeah, I'm like, aren't I, aren't I like in, I'm under a web or something, aren't I? You got stuck. Yes, you yes. are web. So you need a DC 12 to break that web as an action, unless you can burn it with a uh, bonus action that you might have. Does it have, does the web have like a, an AC and hit points? It does. What? Well, okay. And you've got uh, a spider on you too. What if I cast Thunder Wave, mm -hmm. which is a con save? Would yep. that damage the web and the things that are on me? Yes, it will. So 15, it'll, hit, it'll hit the web, the rock grubs, and the spider. Cool. Nice. Let's cast that. Can I please get con saves for all three of those things? Yes, you can. Here we go. Nice. So con save. What do I got to be? That's a two, so that's a fail. Uh, this, these are the rot grubs. That's a five. That's a fail. And then the web explodes. So you go <laughs> describe how you make a thunder wave come out of you. You go. Ooh. Yeah, he's like on his back, all like tight around the, by the web, and he's just like. Ugh, ah! And uh, but like four arms, sort of. Push oh, you're four arms. <laughs> all four arms. Four arms. Uh, and he does arms. nine damage. It looks like a gear. Um, yeah, what's the damage? Nine, and and the spider and the grubs are moved five feet as well. Five feet. Okay. So the grubs no, move ten feet. Ten, ten feet, feet away. Yeah. Okay, so those move ten feet away. Nine damage. Okay. The spider is shoved 10 feet away. I'm going to rule that the blowing that away just wipes the uh, wipes the webs off of you. Okay, cool. Oh, that's rad. All right. Well, nice. uh, after that, he points his uh, Eldridge cannon at the little dude. Um, the Neogi Master. The, sorry, the Neogi Master. Yeah. I will uh, <laughs> give him the respect that is due. Uh, I do not respect you. <laughs> you do not have that. He takes, I uh, he takes his mouth off the heart to say that. And then yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do not respect you. Thank Actually, you I think he has telepathy, so he can, he can eat and mind speak at the same time. Uh, uh, 23 yeah, it's, four, it's got three quarters cover, so it's got a plus five bonus to his AC. Here we go. So is that a hit or a miss? What was it? 23. Oh, that's a hit. Yes. Crap, you knocked him off again. That is 11 points of damage and 
pushed five feet away. And you know what? I'm going to risk it. Withering again. He's like, oh, no. No. Not again. Not (laughs) Not again. (laughs) I'm going to risk it with a disadvantage. And that is... uh, that is a uh, oh no, it's only eleven to hit. Eleven. Okay. So uh, you uh, do have bless. Armor class you can add it. that D four bless. Yeah. I don't know if that'll make a difference. Oh, bless. Yeah. Oh, bless. Fifteen. If you oh, roll, no, you have to roll another one. Four. Oh, yeah, you got one. one. Okay. A twelve. So he. So the second one just the, the second shot goes awry. But he's five feet away from the heart and going. Damn it! I need to stay on that heart. Okay. Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> the spider is going to see if he can recharge rage, his web. Man. He does not recharge his web, and he is. He skitters over to Bendrum and bites. Oof. There we go. Seven. That's a miss. Yes. Other spider. Did Challenger come out? Yeah, I came out of the Hunger of Hadar uh, yeah, okay. and healed myself. The other spider's web regenerates, and he hits. He goes for you. 17. That's a miss. No, that's a miss. Okay, so you like the, the next web comes over to you and you just slap it aside with your shield. Jandalar, Perry Dark. Your turn. Okay, so I'm still in this hunger thing. So what happens? I get cold I damage. Take 36 cold. I need to stop rolling this dice. That's 10 damage. Okay. Oof. I'll use a virtual dice. These might be nicer to you. This one's a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's all random chance. <laughs> I okay, um, I use Zephyr Strike for my bonus action. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm getting my ass out of here. Nice. You. Yeah. What's it do? It takes you. It uh, means that I um, my walking speed increases by thirty feet until oh. the end of the turn. I, if I get a shot, um, well, okay, up to one minute requires concentration. Mm-hmm. Um, I can get another D6 force damage on one weapon attack, and okay. I don't provoke attacks of opportunity when I move. Nice. Okay, so the 30 is enough to get you uh, out, and you still have, because you were on the edge of the of the Hunger of Hadar, you have 50 feet of movement. You can get to where the Neogi Master doesn't have cover from you. Brilliant. But that's going to bring you close to the heart, past the spider, but the spider can't attack you because you don't have right. no uh, opportunity mm-hmm. to attack. Okay, so you're coming okay. up there? That's what I'm doing. Okay, so you angle around the left side of the room, and you're around the back of Kuya Buwaya's heart, and you see that Neogi Master right there, ready for you. Ready to get shot. Are you going to do it? <laughs> Bam. Do it. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Right. That doesn't Roll make any crit. sense in context, but none do at a all. Thing. <laughs> none at all, but it's awesome. Okay, I think this is uh, one of two magic arrows I have left. Okay. Oh no! No, I had a D a D four. Oh, it's probably not enough. No, was that a one? It was roll indeed. One. Oh, roll God. a one again. No. You got to roll again. See if you get another. Yeah, roll one. a D twenty and don't get a one. Don't get a one. Okay, well, I got a seven on that one. So, okay. Yeah. okay. So 14. Woo. Okay, 15, you missed. Uh, missed. You missed, okay. and your arrow and your bow doesn't break. Thank goodness. Yes. Okay. All right. Good, good. So it sees you coming through. It goes, hmm, disgusting. The elf meats are coming for me. Exterminate. And it drops a swarm of rock gubs on you. Your own personal uh-huh. swarm. Here we go. A four misses you. Uh, yeah. So a swarm of rock grubs comes down, but you see it coming, and you just step aside, and it goes splap on the floor next to you. All right. And it is Challenger. Uh, if I move thirty feet, can I get to the? Can I get to the master? No. You could dash and be right on him, though. We have 15 minutes left, it looks like, guys. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dash and go right to him. Did it? Oh, and then, right and then, since you're so gallant, you get an attack on him. Here we go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'll take it. Swing your weapon. Swing your weapon. Go. We're running out of time. Go, 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 Do go. this. Go. 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 18. 18 hits. Uh, I will smite. 
Yeah. No. You are the perfect shell. I should be inside of you. Open your mouth so I can go inside. I do not consent. <laughs> are you going to smite him? You... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to smite. Yep. So 10 damage from the attack, another 8 from the smite, so 18 damage total. Oh, my God. It is really badly wounded. It goes... Um, and it goes, You shall be removed, Impurity. How dare you? And then it it plops you. It's like with robots talking dark. to each other. Does a nineteen hit you? No, a nineteen does not hit me. Oh, you do not take fourteen necrotic damage. No, it's home. The naked wizard, finish it. All right, uh, it. I've, got, I've got one more shatter left. I'm gonna focus it on a point far enough away that doesn't hit Challenger, okay. but it uh, still hits Yogi. Yogi. What is my uh, what's my save again? It's a Constitution uh, thirteen. Eleven. Yes. yes. Fifteen damage. Yes. You destroy it as it dies. Yeah. The naked yeah. wizard always yeah. triumphs. Of like of like disgusting goo, and as that's happening, the um, the uh, you you see Kuya Bawaya's heart start healing, and then behind you, Bunso Tuko comes out and he goes. Oh my god, that was so good! And he goes, uh, and then another bubble pops out of his butt again. Pops out another bubble, <laughs> and then that bubble like in, in clo- covers all of you. And in the bubble with you this time, you see Lola Carly like lying on the ground, going, "Oh my god, I'm so tired. I, I just felt all my spell slots. I've been sitting here for three days healing Kuya Buwaya." For three days, and you're like floating out oh, no, no, no. of Kuya Bawaya's mouth. As you're going, you see um, all of uh, Kuya Bawaya's like flesh start reforming as the as all of the rot <sighs> starts like coming down into his stomach, and he starts digesting it. You're floating through him as he's turning back into an alligator. You have come out. You go on top of him. You you're land welcome. Back. What's that? Oh, yo, you're welcome. <laughs> Kuya Bawaya says. Oh, you can understand me. Why, thank you. Thank you, the naked wizard. I owe you a favor. Awesome. Would you like to join me in a performance one time? I'm sure people would pay big bucks to see you. (laughs) He says, well, maybe in the morning. So you all land on the back of Kuya Bawaya, and he swims you back to Lola's comfy kitchen. Lola is sitting there going, thank you so much for saving Kuya. What I'll do is I owe you a paybor, but I can't give no paybors right now. I'm too tired. I need to go sleep. Can I sleep when I get back to the kitchen? I'm going to go sleep. Um, I will carry you to sure sleep that's right now. Fine, says Chandelier. <laughs> is she injured? I have a potion. She's like, no, she's just like magically spent. She's okay. just like spent all of her energy keeping Kuya Bawaya this alive this entire time. As you guys are sliding back, you get back to the kitchen. And Can Challenger touch Hedrons with with Lola Carly. Oh yeah, Lola Carly will touch identities with you so that you can communicate with her. In- yes. cool. And then as you're coming back, um, uh, you, you're arriving at the kitchen, you see there's a fire burning in front of it and you hear keening wailing forms as the puppeteer parasites are in there turning into ash. And you see Mr. Pamplona say, oh, thank goodness. You have saved Lola Carly, you saved Kuyu Buwaya, and best of all, we don't have to give any refunds. Thank you. <laughs> I approve you're of you're their welcome. method of destruction was not gorging. <laughs> you're welcome, Mr. Pamplona. Um, now about the rewards. Yeah, we'll do it. He goes, yeah. Oh, yeah, here you go. And he starts handing out the rewards. And the pants. And scene. And pants. I got the pants, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's he's just like, you know what? I'm in such a good mood. He goes, what? Just gives you the pants. Just takes them right off. Thank you. And they're little, they're little gnome <laughs> pants. And they're I try to put pants. them on, but they don't fit over top of my other three pairs of pants. And so instead, I put them on top of my head like a hat. <laughs> and he's got a waistband fits my head. Two, two, says Chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> and, you guys um, are a riot. <laughs> <laughs> this was just great. Kit, thank yeah. you so much. 
Thank you. For thinking yeah. of me to join this. And you guys were awesome. That was that was great. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Good work. An excellent yes. way to start my Sunday. Ooh. Thank you very much. You wanna thank you. Thank you for thank you for saving Lola Carly. We we love Lola. If something bad was to happen to her, uh my yeah. my regular group would be very sad. I was gonna roll with whatever happened in this, so this is now canon in my campaign. So <gasps> That's so cool. That's so cool. Nice. Well, thanks. Thanks for inviting us all. Thank you. Do you guys yeah, wanna go give right. your socials and your stuff? To the guests? Sure. Yes. Where can we find you? Amazing people. Uh, Tom, go first. <laughs> I, I get to go first. I'm yes. uh, so I'm uh, I, I run the Robots Radio podcast network. So robotsradio.net. I also host a number of shows. I used to host the Dungeons and Dragons lore cast with this guy right here. Awesome. Where we talked about the lore behind Dungeons and Dragons. It's still a show. We passed it on to some new hosts. You can go check that out. I also do shows like um, the Elder Scrolls lore cast and the Witcher lore cast and Fallout lore cast. If you look those up anywhere, you can find them. They're podcasts available everywhere. And uh, I'm on Twitter as robots underscore radio. So that's how to find me. Didn't you also do the Elder Scrolls lore cast? Yeah, yeah. The Elder Scrolls lore cast. Yeah. Witcher, Fallout, <laughs> Mass Effect, Cyberpunk. I've got a bunch of them. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. You're going to have to popcorn somebody. <laughs> uh, let's pass it to Stuart. Hello, uh, I'm Stuart. Uh, I uh, used to host the D and D Lawcast. I'm also a writer. I write D and D adventures, and I write my own micro RPGs as well. Um, if you want to check those out, you can find me on Twitter at Stuart Writes, um, and there's all sorts of stuff there. Thanks. Uh, table. <laughs> My name is Diane Morrison. I'm known in the World Anvil and Twitch community as Sable Aradia. I am a writer as well. My latest novel is called A Few Good Elves. And if you would like to check out that universe, you can join us for our games on Saturday nights on my channel at 6 p.m. Pacific time, where we play in the universe that I wrote in. So, yeah. Cool. yeah. And um, Pobs is my friend from work. <laughs> Which is awesome, Bob's friend for work. He's he's kind of like the the Wizard's Peak lore guy. Actually, he's the yeah. one who gave us all the primer on the world, which was great. yeah. I've been playing in uh, in Chris's campaign uh, since I convinced him to be a DM again for my buddies. He did. He got me back so, into DD. I was I had I, like a I fish hooked him. I I got him to gorge upon. The deliciousness yeah. of D and D once again, and uh, I've been playing in the World of Wizards Peak, which he's been had for forever. But yeah, since we're now in the main campaign, I've think I've read almost the entirety of his World Anvil site, which is disturbing. How much I know about things that happened when he was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's really it was really cool listening to you uh, explain all that, uh, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Chris, I, I was like, man, that's like uh, the, the game master's dream to have players that can just spout all the lore of your world. That's that was really was cool. my favorite thing was when uh, Paw <laughs> Pobs said all of the <laughs> gave all the lore of my campaign, just like just spat it all out, and I was like, oh my god, ninety percent so cool. correct, and I'm not going to correct them on the stuff you got wrong. Yes, <laughs> players, players' perspective. So <laughs> I know, players I know, I'm going to say a few things, and Chris is going to be like, it didn't didn't quite go like that, but good enough. Good enough. A plus for effort. Yeah, and, and I and Chris wizardspeak.com. I'm on World Ooh. Anvil. I'm on all the stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Twitter. Oh yeah, Twitter. Twitter. Kitoy. K i t o y, which is weird because that's my family nickname, and the only people who call me Kitoy Poi are like my mother and you people. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. This has been amazing. You guys were an absolute riot. Everyone in the chat was laughing and making fart jokes, and it was just <laughs> wonderful the whole way Good through. Time. So, yeah, They're thank you guys for being here. Everyone, please stick around. We're having our last event with George Sanders. So make sure that you give these guys a warm welcome uh, as they as they hide off back to where they were from whence they came. Thank you all once again for being here. Stick around, everybody. Thank and you. see you in just a moment. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 It's been a pleasure.